So good is what it is, you guys. Those intro graphics that I handcrafted using my minor it, in 3D art it, and textile design. It's getting me emotional. I know. I feel like that. Uh, welcome to Westmoreland Country Club here, uh, home of the uh, home of the Ascots. Um, is that what that is? Is uh, there? That's their official mascot, the Ascot mascot. <laughs> I, just, I like how it rolls off the tongue. It's not official at all. Uh, we are here for it. week six of the CPTC live stream network. Yes. Uh, and we've got a series two match here tonight, starting uh, with Westmoreland's very own um, uh, Tom Moore and Stu Bradley, which are actually over here on the closer side. Let me see if I can give you a, a better view here. So Stu Bradley here in the all black, the stealth ninja mode is engaged. Yeah. Uh, you can barely see him on the, well, you could see that, but. Yeah, how um, long has he been engaged? Congratulations to the Yeah, to, good uh, for him. The His kids are in the hut, so they, yeah, we'll, we'll awesome. make sure we keep that on the down low. And then okay, Tom sorry. Moore in the all navy uh, get up over here on this side, hitting the serve with the master paddle. Now, perfect, good timing. Yeah. And then over on the far side, nice we have uh, Mackie Pierce from Valley Low Club. And we have Greg Watring on the far side in the uh, gray and white uh, hat. So this is a solid matchup. This wow. could go any number of directions. 
<laughs> it could come off the rails. Uh, it could turn into a grind fest. Yes. Um, it could be that these guys are just getting ready for charities, which is why I named the stream Charities Training Session. Wow. Uh, right here, we could just see an abundance of, of shot making across the board. See, I don't know what I'm doing here then, because anything that's training oriented, I usually don't do very well, so I usually try to stay away. <laughs> no, it's fine. I mean, okay. If you think about about training wheels and okay, then working yeah, your right. way up. Fair enough. That was the best I ever was at cycling. Sure. Um, so uh, these guys, I have played with all of these guys, and most of them are decent guys. Um, well, two out of We the have four. to figure out which and, ones. <laughs> and we'll see based on my comments throughout <laughs> the evening. You can see how I really feel. That, that'll be tonight's poll. you got to figure out which no, ones. No, I'm absolutely kidding. Uh, they're all great. I've had the chance to play with all they of them. They seem like good guys. Um, uh, Greg uh, Watring uh, is uh, kind of a local teaching pro. He's helped out in a bunch of uh, different programs, and he's a very good player. And he's got, uh, you know, kind of classic teaching pro strokes. Definitely. Um, and it'll take him a solid uh, 15 minutes to warm up his footwork and stop hitting the ball directly to people, as we've discussed <laughs> in the past, because he's, he's too nice a guy. Um, and like then the Mackie Pierce the over there on the far side. You know, I'm just realizing on the scorecard I put in Mackie instead of Pierce, but I'm just going to leave it because I don't think anybody will know him otherwise because we all know him as Mackey. It's like an XFL jersey, you know, like a <laughs> – he's got his nickname in there. He, 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 his agent insisted on the nickname. He's starting with Mackey, but by the end of the match, we're going to be calling him Hot Sauce. <laughs> um, and so, anyway, Mackey has a good uh, drive off both sides, but is definitely uh, a little bit more of a grinder yes. and can go into that no-miss mode. And you see there with a classic underhand – Nothing powder puff serve. He's got a great volley. And yet gets there as gets well. there like six inches from the net. Awesome. Yeah. No one likes fast guys. No, They're not I fun really to play don't. against. Yeah. And I'm jealous of their talent. And so I'm going to talk badly about them for the rest of the evening. Fair enough. Um, and then over here, uh, serving on this side, Tom Moore. I've had the chance to play with a bunch as well. Good drive, both sides. Solid backhand that he can crack. Um, and also just a general athlete. He may hold the record for being able to jump the highest that I've ever seen anyone jump really? on a pass. Court. Yeah, I mean, the guy can, if he needs to, He's got can just pop over the screen. Um, actually, he looks like he could actually get yeah. there. Yeah. And uh, and so, you know, he's uh, he's played a lot of paddle and uh, has been here at Westmoreland for uh, for a few years for sure. Can I say Westmo, by the way? And, and this is, I'm Sean Albrecht. That, that, that was Matt McClure, uh, who you just heard. Uh, Coach Matt McClure, that's what I call him. Sean, our um, fans know us by now. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think we have to introduce uh, right, ourselves I'm sorry. I just anymore. wanted to say what a beautiful club this is. I forgot how yep. pretty yeah, the Westmoreland Paddle Facility is premier, yeah, as beautiful. is the hut. And if uh, Cal hadn't lost all the cameras, we could show them to you with another uh, angle. <laughs> but they're they're all, they're gone, and that's it. That's we're, we're just left with. Wait, I think we're going to write them off. It looks like a donation. Angles. Yeah, that's no, okay. it's fine. I think. Yeah. I think any time. <laughs> I think any time we can be at a club that's this historic. Yes. Um, you know, and. Uh, it's uh, always an opportunity to show it off a little bit, and it's it's majestic, really, <laughs> if you think about it. Yes. Um, and then Stu Bradley over there on the far side, same deal. You know, he can go into no-miss mode. He can really cause stuff to happen with his movement. He's uh, just a really solid, smart player as well. So this should be a, this should be a fun one here. And it's perfect. I don't want to say perfect paddle weather, Coach, because, I mean, maybe a little colder is – Technically, depends on who you are, I suppose. But there's not a hint of wind out there, yep. really, and, uh, and no, no rain in the forecast, nothing. So it's going to be, you know, pretty much mono a mono out there. Yep, yep. It's a solid night. I think you can tell yeah. when you still have the option of wearing shorts or pants just based on your own personal style. So yes, of course, Tom is the only one who's chosen to show off the calves in this particular evening, which is fine. I mean, I get it. I yeah. would if I were him. Yeah. If you, you know, when you got it. Yeah. It's, oh, 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 I'm sorry. You know, I was cow. told by our statistician, our um, our young cleanup boy, that the uh, that we we're not supposed to mislead the viewers that there is a three percent chance of rain. Yeah, that's true. There is a you know really? a ninety seven percent chance of excellence, um, but a three percent chance that the water could fall from the sky. So, <laughs> here's hoping that we don't ruin uh, anything by having said that out loud because I think we all know that if you you know if you curse people. Yes. Uh, by mentioning it, that it can get substantially worse. I don't think the commentator's curse applies to the climate, uh, Coach. I think it's... Uh, no, you're right. I think it mostly it's just, just has to do with when we compliment play by someone play. Yeah. on the stream. Yeah. So they then will then miss whatever right. the, the so next shot is. Let's figure out who, who Cal has in terms of the line on the match and uh, 
We'll just make sure he doesn't win. Yeah, Cal, what do you think? What do, what do you like in terms of odds for this particular match? You got any strong feelings here? Yeah, there's just so much to, to really analyze that it's it's really hard to put into words. It's more of a math problem. You know, you'd really have to write it down and <laughs> just work it out. Show on your paper. work. Show your work. Well, here we go. Get over. Look at that. The first point, almost around the net post, Coach. Not quite. Close, though. Close. Yep. Going underhand serve from Greg. I like that. And he Smart. took 15 all. And he took a backhand off of that. Yeah, I that's going to be his go-to that. shot. He is prefers it? that backhand drive. He's going to look for that a ton. That is if cool. If we don't see it, I would be shocked. That's that's really cool. Don't see that on a regular basis. Not in the paddle I play, anyway. <laughs> 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 you, know, <laughs> you know what? I don't use it because I don't need it. It's <laughs> overrated. What's the, what is it? Those who can't? That's that's where I went. Don't. That's right. Those can't. who can't don't. Don't. I think exactly. is that's the phrase. Essentially, how it works. All right. No, it's a good idea to mute, mute Cal because sometimes he just you know. Yeah, he'll we should stub his toe and there'll be an. We should probably do that more often yeah. if you yeah. think about it. It's probably the way to go. A little bit less. A little bit less from Cal. <laughs> Quiet down, Cal. Settle down, everyone. Oh, that's a great let cord dribbler cool. there. All right, so that I'm, I'm, if I counted right, what was that? Like 17 shots. I want to uh, say. Yeah. So, so we're looking. Yeah, at it was solid. So everybody's solid pretty number much of shots. Little back there. Back Unfortunately. No All right, 1540. Looking for the early break and the big swing. Just going for broke. Yeah. Just why, why not punt, punch one out wide when you're down? Which. You know, but when they're this experience, you just got to, you're looking for everything. I think you even said that. We're going to see a lot yep. of different stuff. Especially early, feeling everything out, taking your swing when you get the look. Might as well pull the trigger before everybody's kind of nice. greased. The ball's fl I mean, I'm not going to say the ball's flying, but it doesn't seem like it's cold weather. And I guess I don't see anybody's breath, so I guess technically, because it just looks a little lively. Yeah, it's not that if bad I'm wrong, I'm at the moment. Wrong. I think everybody's yeah. pretty oh, there we go. comfortable. Yeah. Just make sure Thanks, so Cal. So Deuce game coming here. We're going to fight back. Just a Leaving little extra hop. Yes. Which is something, Coach, not to get uh, instructive, something that you don't recommend, right? Leaving the deck on the return? Um, as on often as basis. possible, I think you'd probably rather see contact happen and then your feet leave the court as a product of your follow-through. I just think it's rare for a person to be able to keep their balance while they swing with both feet in the air. Yeah, balance. Um, but, you know, I say that, and it's probably going to come back to... <laughs> to bite <laughs> somebody in that instance, much like it did uh, there. We don't get Tom that much keeping hate mail. both feet on the ground, but also yeah. uh, unable to convert the shot, yeah. which, again, my fault. No. Oh, yeah. So Wotring and Mackie Pierce able to hold Valley Low up 1-0. And you got to be careful of that momentum swing. First game's a big game, so it's probably just going to be an avalanche of points after this. 12 minutes left in this particular match. Um... <laughs> Just, just Good night, everyone. Them. Just going to roll them, they think. Or maybe the other thing where paddle matches is going to take three and a half hours. Too soon to tell. I don't, I, and I, I mean, this is off the beaten path a, a little bit, but I, I, don't even, I don't mean to gush again about the facilities, but I love these lights. Yeah, these LEDs are solid. They're That's awesome. a love 15 there with a missed serve. Nice kicker. What a return. Okay. Stu Bradley Changing serving at speeds. 15 all. It's a shot that Mackey plays so well, mostly because he can keep it low. He doesn't hit it particularly hard, but he can get a lot of balls to just kind of dip. That, that backhand return? Cross. Yeah, his backhand return, especially off the screen. He's just very good at looking for that nice low sure. pressure shot. And suspiciously absent 
not really suspiciously, but unfortunately <laughs> absent from tonight's match is Dave Bukowski, the director here yes. at Westmoreland, who's out with a little bit of a back injury. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah which I know a thing or two about. Yes. Um, you know, his back injury is caused by, you know, when I was working for him, he had to carry me, you know, <laughs> through life in general, you know, as I was his assistant and he was the director. So I'm sure his back hurt almost all the time. I heard it was a little congenital, too, yeah. Coach. I don't think it's all. No, yeah, fun. some of it, of course, yeah, is genetics. It's just exactly. bad genetics. Yes. But the other 98% of it uh, is probably more related to uh, having to just always be putting a par- partner in a backpack. It, <laughs> that's a big back. No offense. <laughs> that's a that's huge a big backpack. backpack. I was going to say, but, you know, no, well, there's a price true. to pay to be paid for being handsome. Not that I know. I'm right. just saying that Dave. No, I don't either. But Dave's I, a good-looking man, and, yep. and, you know, sometimes you catch God on a good day, That's and then sometimes lob. God says, listen, you know, I don't mean to get religious. About, you know, out here. 30, anyway. watching and Mackey with a good, uh, good, solid, long point there to just lob until somebody was pulled out of position. That is a nice kick serve. It's like inches yep. from the nick on a regular basis. Yep, Stu's got the groove. Me likey. You know, Mackey is also one of those guys who he is uh, fast enough to kind of put you in trouble in in kind of transitional shots. He does, yeah. And so, like, he doesn't mind playing the off-speed, like, medium pace drive because he's kind of hoping that you try to to do something with the ball, yeah. Exhibit A. It's a good dig on that return. Good switch over there. These guys are, are synced. They've done this before. That's Apparently. that little danger drive that where Mackey will just poke a ball down the line and you will get cu- caught stretching. All right, so that's game for watching in Mackey Pierce. They're up 2 Z, as they would the say break. in Kanada. And I love Mackey's... Uh, his serve kind of here, cut. he's got this little open stance, you know, kind of underhand serve to get points started. It's one of the coolest things about paddle is that there are so many different ways you can get it done. To be successful. Yeah. And it's nice to have all, so to speak, the pitches. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know, I always find it uh, fascinating watching... You know what's interesting is when you start dealing with players that have all the shots, what it really does, honestly, is it shortens the match because it allows you to put people under a little bit more pressure, you know, yes. I think, when you can when you can do more with the ball. But with oh, that no said, question. it's not like it uh, it's not like it's mandatory. It's no. just that like if you, you know, do a few things well yes. instead of all the things well, it just takes a little longer. Great point. You yeah. know, what, 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 I mean, what, not that as a pun, by the way, but uh, great point of information, mm, I should tough say. Ball there. But I, w- I was talking to uh, our cohort, uh, Spencer Caravaggio, the little plug for Spencer there, who said sometimes what you do and then what your partner does, sometimes it's just as important in terms of chemistry. So in other words, yeah. if, you're, if, if, if all of the skills that you have kind of yeah. sync up with your partner. That's, that's true. What I think we're looking at a deuce chemistry. game here, I think so too. Uh, Cal. Which is my fault. I should have said something. So it's forty all. Let me talk about home court advantage again, Coach, because I <laughs> <laughs> just to distract everybody so we can get the score right. <laughs> it's okay. We'll have Cal look it up. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that. Also, for some, and I don't know, or for the as we say, the tens of people that are watching at home. Uh, uh, for you, the league players, the different uh, different speeds of drives, it's not always a blast. It's not always a snap. Sometimes it's just a poke drive. Yeah. Yeah, and one of the things you're starting to hear players talk about as well, and you hear it a bunch on ENET with uh, the national tournaments, if you guys have a chance to watch those, you absolutely should uh, be doing that. Absolutely. In fact, I find it hard to believe that you're watching our network without <laughs> watching the ENET broadcasts. But what I'm trying to say is they've done a great job highlighting some of the uh, evolutions of the game, as one of them is the importance of driving at different height. At, at, and nice. you know, kind of yes. It's not all one speed. It's not all one height. It's making somebody play a, a larger a larger zone, right? A larger yes. hitting box. Um, and that's one of those things you can just draw errors if you, you know, 
it kind of a higher roller that forces somebody to stretch a little, and then you make them dig down real low on the next ball. It's a Absolutely. difference maker. Absolutely. It was a tough uh, yeah. little transition there from Tom to dig it out off the screen. All right. And it looks like they are on the board, on the board. at one, two. It was not a deuce. I had it correct. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Because I'm, I'm not actually paying attention. Thank I'm you, just, Cal. Uh, I'm just talking uh, paddle pablum. I agree, by the way, what you said last week, Coach. He is the best volunteer <laughs> intern we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> As underage interns go, I mean, he really is one of the top five. Yeah. He'll still get carded even when he is of age, by the way. He's a very young-looking kid. How have you been doing with that, by the way? Is it going okay? Uh, what? They're just aging in general. Or is, oh, it, is it uh, fine, or is it something right. that bothers you? Look at the bailing. <laughs> it's a I good transition. The water. It was what a shot. Nice pick there by Tom out of the corner. And really oh. smart of Greg to go right back in there after, yes. after you know, when somebody makes an incredible dig, you put the he ball right back, back on him. He went back, side, back. That was really slick. He works out. <laughs> Well, I can't spot for him, Coach. I can tell you that much right now. That's a great move and a good dig. Right. On the volley. Kind of staved off a blitz there. Yep. That was close. One of the things you'll see both of these teams honestly do really well is they will mix up an attack overhead and hit it slow down the middle. Yes. And it's just enough to kind of make somebody get pulled out of position, and it forces them to dig out. You know, an extra shot yes. and then have to recover. And I think all four of these players uh, do that really well where they will – they don't just need to bang balls to the corner all the time. Something that we, were, we were talking about, again, uh, earlier was um, in, in another broadcast we were talking about the idea that you do have to think one or two shots ahead and paddle much more than you do maybe even on a tennis court. Or on I know, it's a huge bummer. It's mentally oh, fatiguing. I mean, you know, it's amazing – Every right. once in a while, you would like to be able to shut off and just, like, you know, kind of yes. go through the reps, which is such a fascinating difference, right? Like, growing up and playing tennis, when I was playing well, there were times where the less I fought, the better I played. <laughs> and I think that's true yes. in my personal and professional life as well, uh, because I just don't have the horsepower up there to, to make a difference. Yeah, well, as much as you play paddle, and you've gotten to, obviously, the top level, a top level, the top level? A I would top say, level. Well, I, I don't know. I was, was going to say, just give it the cred. But, the, but uh, it, do, do you feel like sometimes when you're playing well, you are on autopilot? You feel like, you know, you're just flowing? Well, that's kind of what I was saying is not in the world of paddle. I don't think you can ever just shut your brain off and, it's so funny and just that. hit I, shots. I agree because with you, as totally. soon as you do that, you make a couple loose errors or yes. you stop thinking about what you need to do tactically. And there's just no room for that in the world of paddle. <laughs> it's funny you say that. It's fascinating. Oh. And like I was saying in tennis, like I did feel like there were times where I could just cruise. You yes. know, if I was serving well and I was, you know, taking, you know, I was serving and volleying or I was doing something where I felt like I was in a groove that like yep. the less I thought about what I was doing, the better, better off was. you were. Yeah. No, no question. That's a great return off well, the screen there from Stu. Out, out on the court as an instructor, and I probably say, Love 15. I don't want to take your fun away. I don't, I, I'd probably say that less on the paddle court than I <laughs> say on love the tennis 30. court because of that. Love, th low, low 30, yeah. 30 low. Stu's starting to groove his drive a little he bit. Is. He really does have a, a good drive. It's got a nice, uh, tight, controlled backswing, and he comes through the ball, and it kind of pops off his paddle a little bit more than you, you know, might expect based on his setup. And that compact backswing yep. is a key. Yeah, and it just starts to it just starts to uh, show up quick. It's a nice one hander. Yeah, it's a good dig. And Tom's one of those guys who like his overhead has just gotten progressively better. There's little uh, little hops from Tom, like I was talking about earlier. Yeah, his overhead has gotten progressively better every season. Right, and he's just really started to be able to mix it up and do a lot of different things with the ball, and he doesn't really overplay a lot of his overheads, you know. 
and yeah, it's uh, it's been cool to see as the evolution where when I was first playing against him it felt like I was you know I could hit not the greatest lob and be able to hang and then all of a sudden it started to turn into he had rollers and cutters and drop <laughs> shots and all kinds of stuff that's just inconsiderate coach I mean I you know that's just poor manner yeah I'm bad and I should feel bad exactly that's what I was talking about there with taking that slow ball to the middle perfect Example First of two. It. Yeah. slow roller to the center. Has the option to go hard at a corner and instead decides, nope, I'm just going to go. Kind of squarey of despair right the there center. a little bit. No, I would think that was yeah. kind of a yeah, little, little square of little, despair. Little element to that. Oh, I thought for sure we were going to see a screen drive there. That's why I changed the camera angle like a doof. <laughs> there it is. That's what I was talking about. I jinxed him. Never talk again. <laughs> Never speak to me. All right, so... Oh, we're going high here. Well, I don't know. Yep. That might be 30 considered all, I think, Australian. Here. Oh, that was a good bail here. Yeah, that was a really good move. Got close to a seamer there. I got excited. I love the seamers. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I was excited. Like I said, the best intern Ooh, good pick. we've ever had. That is a tough ball into the corner there. All right, we're going to see if we can get some on-court All right, it looks ambience. like we got a game there for, uh, for uh, Moore and, and Bradley, Bradley, thus making it 3-2. All right, we're going to get some uh, on-court ambience there. A little valley low uh, lead here. There we go. I'm just going to... Little little boost to the push up the, stuff. The, yeah, push up the shotgun mic because all these guys seems like they right. behave themselves. Well, I think it's good to leave it low at the beginning because these guys just swear like sailors. <laughs> but hopefully they've gotten some of it out of their system now, and we won't get yeah. any strikes against us. No, because you know YouTube is all over the swearing. That's what they're most known for. <laughs> they don't just let any content on there. I, I, I right. thought it was a prerequisite. Stu serving great lob location what a touch. to go cross court there. From Mackey. That is just one of his soft specialties, the uh, as church offensive music. lob return. Yes, apparently. That was beautiful. It just fell out of the sky. Chicken Little. Falling <laughs> Out of the Sky is a great band name. Maybe it's better for the first album now that I think about it. <laughs> Thank you. We are Mercy Flush, and our first album, <laughs> Falling Out of the Sky. Will we be are the shoots. Out. <laughs> our, our, our album is falling out of the sky. <laughs> the shoots. All right. On his back foot. Wow. That's a good play That's there by Greg shot. to identify the off balance overhead and then shift over. Smart. I don't think that was too much of a chance taking a poach like that, Coach. Either do you? Would you? Do you recommend stuff like that? In other words, he pretty much crossed. No, I don't. I wouldn't even consider that to be uh, a, a bad play. I think no. you're in that situation. You're trying to make a move to get a volleyer to think about. Sure. What, I'm sorry to get a driver to think about what you're doing, and so it kind of is important that they like see you move and maybe think about doing something. Couldn't else. Couldn't agree more. Uh, peripheral vision. Make yourself known. Loom. I like to say loom. Peripheral vision, man, is a, loom. my second favorite superhero. Um, loom is my second favorite uh, hobby. I that think. is a little bit too much on the depth there. It just it was a hair deep. I don't need it for my rug hooking class, but and it's needlepoint I do. We've got a little 40 lo love 40 situation here. Great serve. It's a corner really there for the jam sandwich. I'm telling you, he is a machine. Yeah. I don't yeah, think, I think he's the same. Great. It moves. Same. It's you know he can put it right into corners. Yeah. It, he, he can get it to bite off the screen. It's it's a ball that uh, can be a problem. There it is again. Sounds good. Yeah. Another one. Stu just doing such a good job picking his spots on the serve and getting his legs into it and letting it fly with confidence. Good hands. I like that screen drive. Yep. Didn't see. I didn't really even see that coming. That was a nice disguise. Yeah. And Stu has a little bit of uh, one of my favorite moves, uh, started originally by Jerani Barnes, um, who's the director uh, over at uh, 
Briarwood, which is a little bit of the, he's got like the pop and dangle. Like sure. after yeah. he hits an overhead, he lets his hands hang low a little bit. <laughs> you know, just because, yes. you know, it's a, it's a little easier to like, you know, release and, yeah. and stay loose. Exactly. Right? But you see a lot of overheads or you see like a couple of uh, like a uh, backhand volley of his where he kind of just leaves his hands low so that he can keep control of his paddle. Sure. No reason to have that kung fu ninja death grip. <laughs> Just because you're dressed like a ninja doesn't yeah, mean you say. have to act like one. Yeah. Although I have it on good authority that he is a master of every style of combat. I've, I've, yeah, I've, I've, and he's very flowing for a ninja. The most, uh, be like water. You know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the right <laughs> a martial arts uh, very flowing. image. Yes. Uh, yes. Starting to get some solid Steven Seagal vibes, as Absolutely. we all know, the greatest American ninja to have ever existed. I think he's Russian. <laughs> <laughs> what a point. It's a great point. Nice long point there. We got the shot clock Deuce there. game, yep. Yeah, I, a little, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, just kind of just playing smart overheads. Yep. Nothing, you know, and all of a sudden maybe trying to force a little bit. You know what? I jinxed him. Yeah, we talked about how it's good his serve was, yeah, and then he my faulted. My fault. Sorry about that, dude. Put it on, put it on my tab. I'm going to go ahead and check my DraftKings real quick, see where this match is at <laughs> with some of the live updates. A great move right there from Greg. That's going to be Mackey's go-to. He loves that play. little inside-out backhand. That's another... Another instructive tip there where he does keep his left hand on the paddle so well yep. that he's set for that backhand drive if he ever really yep. needs it, which is just another. One of the things right there. that I, there it is again, just that inside out about. backhand rip. Yep. Great right play. on cue. And that is going to be a game for watching in Mackie Pierce. And I'm not psychic, no. That's a. <laughs> Si sidekick, psycho, yes. Si psychic. Side, sidekick, psycho, <laughs> psych psychedelics. <laughs> yes. I've got it on good authority that Westmoreland's been putting psychedelics in the water supply for a couple of days now. Is that right? Yep. All right, I, I want I want a glass of water. Then. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll try it. Okay. I don't know. I'm feeling it. Pass better. out the water. Let's give it a shot. Water no, for everyone. Yeah, that's a good move. Oh, it's a nice volley. That's tough. You watch a match vicariously sometimes, and you will say, what a shot, because I, I'm telling you, and then maybe 90% of the shots out here, because I'm going to miss pretty much 90% of them, but I'll just say, what a shot, because I'm thinking there's no way in heck I would ever have gotten that ball back. Uh, love 30 now. dig. Yeah. Starting to make some good decisions. They're trying to mix it up a little bit on uh, their formations and uh, not afraid to give up the net off of Stu's return, which I get it. Rolling. Yep. And it's kind of weird, actually, but it's funny, but Mackey actually likes it when you do that. That's his, like, if you hit rollers into his corner all day, he would be a happy so he camper. Just, yeah, almost, he just baits just you uh, into he, it. Yeah, he just kind of. that short lob. He kind of wants that ball. That's what he, that's the kind of stuff he likes to yeah, do. Actually, I did have. Um, that's a smart play there from Stu to hold that like he was going to hit something short <laughs> and then shovel it behind Greg. Somebody who all right, watched so one of the telecasts there. we got. 4-3 now. Somebody watched one of the telecasts we had, and they were saying that a lot of oh, these sorry. guys... I screwed up the score. Cal had it correct. Cal, again, on the get over, almost. Well, anyway, uh, he said that uh, one of the things he noticed was n not a lot of skywalking lobs. No, yeah. They're, they're just very controlled. Yep. Uh, because they just know exactly what they're doing with that type of stuff, and it actually works a little bit more in their favor yeah. with the playing style. You know what's interesting, especially as players uh, just are become so 
uh, the, the level of excellence off the screens, you know, becomes uh, so prevalent that they just, they're never going to miss a lob. Like they just are, right. they're only ever going to put a ball at the tee. They don't really hit it above the height of the lights very often sure. because it's risky and they're just absolutely okay. Like essentially poking up short lobs all the time and daring somebody to try to do too much with the ball. So. Oh, oh, nice try. Good luck. That's pretty steady. Even okay, though he I told you I could see the one. future, Cal, giving us a 4-3 uh, four, four, three. Three there, yep, for Valley Low. and Mackie. Watching and Mackie Pierce. Not that this is an issue, but... How many of how many of the participants ever really use the scorekeepers? Good question. On the men's side, zero percent. Yeah. And on the ladies' side, one hundred and twenty-five percent. And I am not joking about that assessment. It is a, it is like almost exclusively there for um, yeah. the ladies' matches, which is fine. I mean, I encourage you know, you play a long point, you forget the score. It's not as though the guys don't need it. It's I mean, if I was using it, I would have a better idea about it. Although it's rarely the game score and almost always the set. point score. Or point, it, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Or, I'm sorry, it's almost always the game score and not the set, set score, score that I'm yeah, gotcha. struggling with. I mean, we, we end up playing a couple long points and going, what is it, 30 all? Exactly. And then we're like, no, that was just the first point, and we have to talk about it for five minutes. Last broadcast, we actually had to tell the, the uh, players what the score was. Yes, uh, and Doug I think Freeman. I was wrong. Yeah. That was funny, actually, because great uh, dig there out of the screens and a good roller. Um, that was funny, actually, because what had happened was I had just jumped on stream after finishing my match. Yes, yes. And I kind of was, you know, <laughs> not in a position to immediately be paying attention because yeah. I was toweling off and getting a water and stuff. And well, then if all I was of a sudden, good they were like, what's the score? Ask the live stream. Yeah. And I was like, oh, crap. Well, if I was a good teammate, I should have been covered through the transition. But you know what? No, no. If you were a good uh, teammate, you would have made up the score to benefit Lakeshore as our home club and it's just not what worry I did. about it. <laughs> really, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go. That's a good play. You know what? Talk Mackie about just great all over it. reaction off of that power screener. Impressive. Uh, yeah. Matt, and then they did lose the point, but that was a great reaction. Matt, do you want to inform the viewers at home what you did after you hopped off the mic? Um, after I got off the mic, I uh, went ahead and laid down, uh, made a face down snow angel in the middle of the hut to stretch out my back. <laughs> and, uh, and then I went uh, directly home uh, in order to take an ice bath. And wow. both of those things didn't help nearly as much as they should have because I could still uh, feel how old I was yeah, really? the next day. Wow. First point. See, we just had the same thing happen. Wow, is that amazing? Mm-hmm. Oh, we were just talking about it. They're like, long points. I'm glad we were paying attention. So this is actually one of the things that uh, has been fun about figuring out the live stream is that sometimes we don't always have the camera angles to see what maybe the call would have been. Yes. And if we don't catch it, if we can't, if we can't hear it, then uh, then all of a sudden. They're, they're not sure. There's, there's, it's, it's love 15. That was first point. Yeah. It happens to the best of us. We've all been there. I mean, we call it a senior moment. It, it definitely applies in my case. But uh, well, just because you recently got your AARP card doesn't mean that, <laughs> you know, you're... A senior. You can get those earlier and earlier. You want know, to you know something funny? They actually rejected me. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody gets they're like, like nope, they're sorry. Like, I, I called. They're sorry, like, you know, I, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Albrecht, we're Is really not. Issue. I believe it might be. Sorry. Here I am making the now. Uh, now it's a guess as to what the score is right, because I didn't have the. Uh, I was laughing too hard at your right. joke and I didn't see what happened. I know oh, it's, it was it's a joke. It's difficult. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, hey, it was a joke. Okay. <laughs> He's still the best intern she we've ever had. Well, we're going to have to leave it to the four players to get the score right. And um, my guess is it is five all, by the way. I think it is.
Yeah, as we work our way through this process, what I was saying was that we can't, like, we can't always see the angle, and sometimes we wouldn't always necessarily. Uh, oh, I don't want to be nice this guy, dink. but I, we might not necessarily make the same call based on what we saw on the camera versus what the call Great is touch. on the court. So, so there are times where like we can get a little bit thrown off, and we're still trying to figure out the best way to right. figure to it make out. sure that we've got that nailed. Oh, great Sit pick down. off a of snowboard. Oh, oh nice, nice try. Cutter, though. That was that nice try. crazy if you got it I'm back. I'm going to guess that this is 30 all my, here. That's Cal, my guess, but, too, Coach. But honestly, there was one point there that I'm not 100% sure on what the end result was. Look at that's that. a good pick there by Mackey. Don't hit rollers at him. It'll just make him mad. <laughs> Were we joking about Mongo. that at one point? Like, uh, yes. like if you take a set <laughs> off, uh, if you take a set off Rafa Nadal, they're like, "Why would you take a set <laughs> off? You'll just make him angry. <laughs> just make now he's gonna make you look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna beat you indiscriminately <laughs> right, now. Right. It's gonna make an example out of you. Well, oh, that's a great roller there too. Letting that drop real nice and low from Stu again, mixing up the high, the uh, sorry, low slow ball sure. to the middle. Now oh, we're starting Nick. to go for some corners here. Yep, good dig. Oh, another good Nick Mackey on lockdown with the corner over there. It's good hands. Smart play there from Tom to. Reverse direction of the overhead so he didn't play into any oh, strength. Oh, that is a bummer. Tough way to lose it. I mean, both sides played an awesome point. Yeah, and I think that was a break there, Cal. I think we must have been a little off on the score, so I think that it's now, uh, I think it's now 5-4. Uh, I think it was the end of that game because uh, Greg Watring is serving, so it must be 5-3. Thanks for the fix. Little deep. Love 15. As they say, it's not a hold, or not a break till you hold. It's not a hold till you break. I don't know what that one means. Whoa, my Ooh, goodness. Nice try. 15 all. That would have been an acute angle. Get out your protractor, as they say. He's there. Get out. That'll be cool. It works. That was fancy. I like that decision to take that out of the air as well. Oh, smart. That's it. Sean, did I hear you make a joke about protractors? Yes, I did. Is that a little uh, humor you picked up from grade school in the 30s? <laughs> you mean 2030? It's only 2021. Right oh, now. my bad. <laughs> yes, but when some guys walked in and they saw this equipment, they asked me what it was for, and I told them that I was perfecting time travel. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, so there's a chance back. that this is coming to you from the year 2030. <laughs> or we can go back and watch Sean fight in World War I. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to stick with that theme, aren't you there? Yeah, you know what? 12 Monkeys was a great movie, Cal. <laughs> I agree with you. It doesn't quite get, you know, what it deserves. That was a good little pick. Smart shot. Um, oh, cool yeah. transition ball there. Just a little underspin on it. Very stylish. Yeah. Now that is a good band name. Stylish underspin. <laughs> stylish underspin is a uh, might be an even better DJ name when it comes right to. Right down, right Dune to it. Everybody see Dune? How many times? I, I saw it a couple of times. I watched it with my kids. And, of course, they had to remake it because it was so Nice old. play there. That was a really good point from awesome. both teams to look for opportunities. Heck of a screen drive 30, off that 15. corner there, too.
Yeah. This is I'm putting on a clinic. I mean, if we had chalked up a, a, a circle there in the middle of uh, the backcourt area, Coach, I think they've been hitting every single Do you time. mean the reset button? I do. Oh, wow. Great hands up there in that exchange. That's kind of tough off your back foot. But you know what? I'm not going to criticize him. I mean, I wouldn't have even had the no, guts to try and that honestly, shot. I think that he sensed a little bit that they were kind of recovering and not back fully back in up. position. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and uh -huh. if you can make that shift and drive when people don't expect it, it does turn into And in his defense, errors. he didn't hit it as hard as he could. He just kind of rolled it. So. Right. It's a good play. Waterfall, what a shot. I mean, Mackey hasn't missed a nick yet. It's amazing. He's like a mongoose. He's there every what nice a drive. Ball. That's good set right there from both teams. Valley low the taking set. the first one. 6-3. Six, six, three. Three. Stick around with us. These guys are going to do a quick transition, I bet, but we're going to take us to some messages from Illinois Bone and Joint. From the heart of Chicago up to the North Shore and stretching from the Northwest suburbs down to Kankakee, from urgent in-office care to virtual in-home visits, we're making orthopedic care available wherever and however you need it. Because while we're adapting our lives to keep each other safe, we know that new injuries will happen and old injuries will still linger. And IBJI is here to help. Illinois Bone and Joint Institute is the best choice for orthopedic care. Our walk-in ortho access clinics provide treatment by orthopedic specialists without a trip to the ER. With evening and weekend hours, we provide your family with excellent care when it matters most. Visit IBJI.com to find an ortho access immediate care clinic near you. And we're back. And everyone's gone to the bathroom and gone to get beers, depending on whether they won or lost the first set, as is per usual. They have the a huge restroom, too, so I think everybody can go they at the same time. They do have a great restroom here at uh, Westmoreland Country Club. Also, great showers in the men's locker room. I don't think that probably gets enough credit uh, that it deserves. But, uh, yeah, big part of the draw for Westmo. I thought so too, but I just don't have the guts to say it on the air, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> just the general hygiene of the whole club. Yeah, just, I just across you know, the board. Really we're in solid. a COVID age. Yeah, you didn't, you know. want to, didn't want to tempt fate. Yeah, I remember during the bubonic plague, Carl. I uh, <laughs> I used to I used to evaluate other people's showers as well. Oh, yeah. was that back when you were thirty? Uh, <laughs> we had yeah, we had. There was very little plumbing at the time, though, so. Yeah. It was a. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I love hearing your stories, but I, I'm not huge into archaeology, so it, <laughs> it, it gets a bit old. Uh, there's something you hear pretty often. My son looked up a bunch of jokes. I don't know, you've just been so digging a lot <laughs> recently. me on my birthday a did couple he? of weeks ago, yeah. I mean, was, was this just, Eli? We sitting, or? Eli did, yeah. And so okay. we were sitting down for dinner, and he was like, Dad, I mean, happy birthday. It must be great to be your age. What did dinosaurs taste like? <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. What what was George Washington really like? <laughs> it just absolutely destroyed me the entire time. And I couldn't have been prouder. <laughs> That's a, what did you do before paper? It's a Hallmark moment. <laughs> we, had, we had papyrus. Yes. That's a great SNL skit. I think I just wrote the whole thing, and it didn't get any laughs at dress. That's how young slash uh, naive Cal is. He still thinks people are watching S SNL. <laughs> SNL anyway. Digital, maybe. Yeah. Right. Oh. You mean it's not a new show? <laughs> it's so relevant. <laughs> Got a pretty good, uh, I, and I'm, I'm assuming, by the way, um, this is court two or court one. I think this is, in other words, when I say that, I mean the actual court itself, not that they're this playing. This is court number three. Right okay, here. court three. Try to keep uh, up, Sean. It takes a village. Get Westmoreland. 
What did you do before hearing aids, Dad? <laughs> I don't have one. I'm now. sorry. What? What? So, bah? Bah? so the, uh, the but the court next to us is four. I would I would imagine then. Uh, that's or two. Is that two. One, two, three. There's gotcha. A, yeah. Thank you. I can't see that far. We <laughs> <laughs> the cataracts. <laughs> we, can't, yeah, we can't see that far. Now, the, only, the only thing funnier than, than Cal's ageism is that I am worse <laughs> with ageism. So you know, it's, it, it's, I, I can't. That's right. I can't. I can't say one thing about it because I, I. I'm as I've mentioned many times before. <laughs> I'm, I'm right. bad. I'm you bad. Just with go that. right to it all the I time. Do. I do. I, go right old. I know exactly. You know, you you started a fight. You couldn't. Uh, you couldn't keep up. Yeah. Get used to that, Cal. Well, that's At your age, since you can't keep up now, can you imagine when you get older? It's just because of the cognitive mental decline. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only reason, though, that I can't keep up, Cal. So I just want you to know. <laughs> I was at a low point as, as it was. So uh, now it's worse. Um, so, uh, Coach, now that uh, Moore and Bradley are already down, and pretty much just to break a serve, I mean, they're here and there. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you think they yeah. probably would be thinking going back into the second set, figuring, hey, man, we got to get back in this match. Got any ideas of what maybe they, you could think they could do? So I, uh, if I'm totally honest, I think that Mackie is too involved right now as the deuce player on that side who kind of That's likes it when you yep. attack his corner. He's a great counter puncher. Yep. And it's almost a little bit more like you have to freeze him out a little bit and open up some space and see if you can get Greg to make a few more errors. But, I mean, this is a tough team because both of those guys will immediately go into error management mode, right? Yes. Like neither of them have a style of game where they're just going to give up points. giant swings yeah. and five balls in a row and just be like, well, I make it or miss it. Who cares? And both of them will – they just won't make those kind of mistakes back-to-back. -back. No. And, and it is I, – I got to say this. Uh, ever since I started playing paddle, you know, again, back in the 30s, uh, the uh, I uh, – I've noticed that it's once you get a, a set tucked under your belt, uh, not that it's easier, but it seems a little more comfortable when you get the first set put away. It's much tougher to figure, okay, what I'm going to have to do, yeah. uh, generally grind uh, yeah. just to get back in a match and then grind to get a third set out. Yeah. That's a, kind of a daunting task sometimes. Yeah, and it's actually interesting because the only way that you can do it is, you know, you have this little lead, so maybe you can swing a little free. Sure. But you have a, essentially a two-game window. Right, where if you choose to accelerate and and you know go after some more shots, right? I mean that certainly is your choice. But if they aren't going in, like you do not want to give away a couple of quick games at the beginning of a set when you're you get know, back after, into after error management. One. Yeah, right. So it does kind of become one of those things that you uh, that you have to be cognizant of. That's going to be a good opportunity for Greg there. He likes that screen drive. Yeah, great lob location there. To transition up. Way to duck. I can't get down that low. That's my best play. <laughs> my partner's like, get out of my way. Press. And I'm like, that's great. I'm going to go grab a Gatorade or something. <laughs> Just that missed was it. close. I thought he was going to tag that one. Oh, well, yeah, nice try. It's a great rally. Serious patience. Solid point, though. That may be what they're going to have to do here. Yep. Yep, and that's just going to have to be part of the game is they're going to oh. – that's tough. That's just going to have to be part of the game is it's just not going to be a – a one-and-done drive scenario. It's just going to take multiple shots to to draw some kind of error. I'm actually surprised that Mackey didn't take that inside out again and try to find a little angle. Yeah, he that that he doesn't miss those much if at all. Yeah, it's his go-to. And that might be another strategy, Coach, baiting, baiting him serve. into hitting 
certain shots in a certain location. 30 all. Molly. Nice. Way to back up off the screen. That's always stylish. Just spring back out there off the screen. It's good pace, control. Another touch Greg lob. really uh, does a great job, you know, shading, yes. you know, setting up like he's going to drive a ball and then throwing Just up a lob. It. Yep. It's impressive. Yep. Skyhook. He's there, a little miscommunication, no big deal. Able recover to recover because of a great reset overhead. Yep. You can miscommunicate on that ball. It's just that your reset overhead has to be perfect in order to yes. not be in trouble. Get a little breather. Oh. Yeah, that one bit nice a little dig. bit. Nice yep. dig. the one Tom was looking for. He really likes that backside screen, backhand drive. The ball just didn't quite just come did, yeah, far didn't come out. out yeah. Of, yeah, it was surprising. Yeah, I thought that was going to bounce out of there. Way in front of his body. Oh. That may prove costly. I don't want to jinx anybody. It may prove costly. <laughs> yeah. That's another right, thing. Well, He's... um. You serve at the same speed. By the way, which if it works, I think it's an awesome thing. After a while, though, the old adage, always change a losing game, never change a winning game, sometimes might not want to keep the same speed all the time, just kind of throwing a change up just so you've hit one before. All right, here we go. Just a hair deep. You always got to redo that warm-up serve if you don't hit the first one in that, the court. That was close, too. Yep. Now, that looks like me right there. It's a tough, it's a tough <laughs> ball. At you the, sense yeah. that somebody's off the net, and you get a chance to maybe try to force a ball and too, too perfect, trying to make it too exactly. perfect. And by the way, he's hit 10 times the player there. I am. But I'm just saying, I, I, I have a tendency to do that when the ball comes off the tape like that. Not a bad touch on that one. Nice touch. Yeah, good pick as well by Stu. That's when you know somebody's got some nice touch on the lob, too. They can put a little topspin yeah, on probably, the uh, Probably one of the, one of the things, yeah, that, um, you know, is uh, it, it's only risky if you don't plan it in advance, right? Like yes. You can't be on your back foot and then be like, no, I'm going to hit a topspin lob. But if you, the whole goal is for you to look like you're going to do something more with the ball, and then you decide yes. to throw some topspin on it. It is not as dangerous as it might appear. I just see it more at this level and, and, uh, and higher. Uh, but they'll just put just a little extra spin on the ball. Not that that's necessary, because I don't necessarily think it is. It's a good pick. Nice recovery. Smooth switch, Nick. Oh, hey, you know what? Weren't we saying one. he has not missed? Yes. Uh, it's the first one that he's missed. Finally. It's I mean, a uh, really good, really good point. If we had a stadium full of people, they would just stand up because that would be like a standing O when they finally make an error after like 134 games without an error. I'm standing kind of right baseball. now. Baseball, okay. In my heart. <laughs> or maybe that's just the AFib. I don't know. It's one of the two. 
Oh. Hey, Fitz, oh, good coverage insects there. Insects here? <laughs> Green little thing. So this is one of those things uh, in terms of the positioning that you'll want to start to look for a little bit as you will see uh, as the ball goes into the ad corner, Mackey will step way over to the edge of the alley because his opponent, Tom, has a really good backhand screen drive. Oh, I see. And so you will often see him way outside the edge that of the court. That might have been a perfect example. And that was example. the time that it burned him because he did not shift over with the ball. He was trying to cover extra space. Talk about partner. being topical, Coach. That's impressive. But, uh, but usually when a ball's going into that corner, he is kind of standing, he has one foot in the green. He's way on the outside edge to try to defend that space. Just dig there. step up and look for that little poke roller. That's all position. All right, one all. T-Money serving. Let's change the name right now. We're on, the, on the graphic. Tom uh -oh. or T-Money, I'm telling you, you gotta, you gotta be nervous about the warm-up serves with the new ball. It's a false sense of security. You should just do it. A little wide on that one from Greg. That's a great tip, actually, Coach, because every set you do technically do start with a new ball anyway. Great. Right. It is a little livelier. If not sooner, depending on what the weather conditions are. I mean, I guess you could get a new one every seven games in a, the world of tournament paddle. Yeah, that's You know what? I forgot about that rule. Oh, look at volley. this. What a dig. Good pick. He's there. Other thing about these guys, they very, very rarely miss a location. In other words, they, they pretty much know where they want to put every, pretty much every overhead. Yeah, yeah. You'll see some non-traditional stuff at this level, like, uh, you know, you'll see some overheads that, you know, where the the person who's the drive stopper on the right side of the court, like where Tom is now. Yep. You'll see him like carve a little angle inside out and try to put it back in Greg's corner, or you'll see. You know, some direction changes that I know that I tell my students not to do because they're not at this level. It takes some skill to do that going inside out like that from that side of the court. No question yeah. about it. It's a good move by Stu. Smart decision here for these guys to start moving a little. Oh, it worked out. Oh, yeah. made Please it work watch. off the let court. Okay. There it is. Go hands. hands. Oh, lightning. Yep. No, no, no. Real. Now they're going to slow it down again, start putting some balls back. Once again, the tens of you player playing at home just want you to, or taking a look at home, just want you to watch. What a, oh, it was close, but no, just down. Just a little deep. But Mr. Watring, uh, in the Viking hoodie, he does have a one-handed backhand, but he uses his left hand so well. Yeah. When it, when he has to dig something out, where it's almost like he's got a two-handed backhand. Yeah. Which he does there, by the way. Yep. But my point is, he'll use his one-hander. He'll it's mix just, it up. Yeah. If he needs to, he can go one way or the other. It's Usually for him, it's a height yeah, factor. Yes. So like if a ball is a little bit below his shoulder, then he'll go after it with a two-hander. But if it gets up higher, he's playing it off a screen, a, bit, a little more of a, you know, kind of a block or a chip sure. style. Yeah, there's another shot you don't, we don't necessarily, I should say, instructors don't necessarily recommend, but at this level you'll see that, where the uh, uh, player on the right side of the court's gonna swing it back into the due side, into the corner. 
isn't something that is recommended all the time because it's, we're basically swinging it right into the wheelhouse of a right-hander's forehand. But yeah, with these guys, yep. they'll do it at a certain point where you really can't t take a real full swing at it. Right. Yeah, I think it's it's just one of those elements that sometimes it doesn't, uh, you know, I don't know whether students uh, fully buy into that concept or not, but the reason that it changes so much at the higher levels is because paddle is such a small space and everybody is so athletic that if you were to hit the exact same shot five times in a row somebody would find a way to throw it back at your face yeah <laughs> like you just can't yeah you just can't get away with being like now i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna do it again and now i'm gonna do it you know no until uh, i mean when somebody starts to when wow, somebody speed. starts to make the read yeah you know you, you are in trouble you so get, they, you gotta change a, your gears there's a mandatory amount of you know again the brain game right thinking about that guy looks a little itchy i better as a tougher turn tough to get out of the way of that ball take your base well i'm glad if we uh tacked down the wires out there not that that has anything to do with the match but sean is a very enthusiastic taper He's good at it. Well, when you get older, you know, you it's, one of your hobby. it's one of his top three skills. <laughs> that the rug hooking is, <laughs> is number one. And then there's and the, the drywall <laughs> removal. <laughs> Furnace filter maintenance is another one. I put that number four on your list. <laughs> it's dropped in the standings. It's just not popular anymore. Well, you don't have to do it as often, so right. sometimes you're out of practice. It's true. Boy, I remember Whereas back I'm in the day, boy, that was peeling it. wallpaper every weekend. <laughs> At least that's what it feels like. It's a good pick. Speaking Switch, of wallpaper, look at these guys switching over here. Sliding along the screens. You gotta love it. Great position on that yeah, drive. That's a good look. Again, not to get too instructive, but watch the net players as the ball comes in. They will actually get lower in as the they hit the volley. Yes. That, yeah. Just get the wider base, get low. It makes it much easier to hit a balanced and solid volley. Smart move. Yep. It's a great point. Yep. Yeah, to get Maury and Bradley, they're not going away. This is awesome. Yeah. And this is one of those uh, one of those spots where you've invested this much in the point, and it starts to uh, it actually I think starts to become a little tougher at the net to oh, yeah. continue to make good decisions. And uh, I feel like when these guys are comfortable, the longer the point starts to go on in a style like this, the more it's going to benefit the baseline. Yep. You know, but it's just uh, you know. The more I think about it, Cal, the more you should start picking up paddle because making good decisions is something you need to practice. <laughs> uh, come on, parents always tell you that. that now you're, you're, you're young. Make good decisions. Make better decisions. It's a good bit of advice in life and in the world of paddle. Yeah, my parents weren't super enthusiastic when I started doing hospice care. <laughs> what? Wow. Good dodge and volley from the... Uh, that situation there from Tom. I'm trying to be unaffected yeah. by that comment. I There's a chance. <laughs> I'm having trouble. <laughs> Good lob again. Yep. This is just real rallies. solid paddle here. It Everybody is. just playing their role. No, nobody doing anything super aggressive. 
Just and point I'm pretty by sure point. the score is right as well. So when they inevitably ask us what the score is at we'll the end of this point, accurate. we'll actually know. <laughs> And we were talking about this, uh, Spencer was during the last broadcast, that, you you know, to be at the, at the top level paddle-wise, it just pays to be in shape. I mean, because yep. you're going to go through points like this. I mean, yep. I, 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 don't, I don't know, 50? What are we at, 50? Yeah. I mean, balls, and you've you, yeah, you got to be able to this concentrate. Can't be, this can't be a situation that you let it grind you into oblivion. That is the only way for that point to end. Yes. And again, can't, you, can't, you can't go wrong with anything down the middle like that. Even the best teams are going to have a little bit of indecision at the right location. When I say down the middle, I mean between the players. It doesn't necessarily have to be right in the middle net strap. 30 all. Ryan's time. Super reset. Yep, and the transition in the backcourt. These guys got skills. Get in there. Captain Casual over there. It was. A forehand Very flip. Very stylish. Very stylish. Up. A little wide on the jump overhead. And again, a situation that Mackey actually likes to dig that ball out of the corner and then flip up a lob. This is a little, yeah. Wow. Great move there by Stu to see the little out of position volley. Interesting you mention him, Mr. Mackey, that is, because him serving and volleying sometimes, if his partner doesn't take the volley. He's almost better off staying back. It's incredible yep. how much defense he can play back there. And of course, I just jinxed him. You're welcome. Yeah. yeah. That was one of the first points that we've seen them press in transition. He made the little poke drive, and then he was going after another one. Um, okay, wow. And that is how quickly the momentum can and turn. So wing. Unbelievable. It's huge grind, and then three rapid fire points. Reserving one, T Money, and Bradley. Thank you for, uh, thank you for changing that. By the way, I'm not sure. To it, looked, money. it looked out. Did you think that was on? Uh, here's where it also gets really mental, because you can feel things slipping away. Even if you are up a set, down a break, you're thinking, oh, geez, what do we do? But it's still not over. And I'm not rooting for one team over another. I'm just saying. It's easy to get, you know, right. lose a little hope anyway. It's a good poke. Mackie getting a little fired up. Face cam. These are the same cameras they used to shoot those scenes for Iron Man where he was inside the suit. And you just get right up on there, <laughs> put some graphics on the screen, some digital bullseyes. It would be great. See, now this is the way I think. All I can think of now is a cheeseburger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. Just you've mentioned Iron Man. I'm, I'm seeing this food. It's just yep. like, I'll take a cheeseburger. I'm totally with you. I also oh like cheeseburgers. God. Anyway. Oh, the other uh, commentary we heard, and I just try to take polls or surveys whenever I hear it, that somebody actually watched. <laughs> that sounds terrible. I shouldn't say it that way. But anyway, uh, is that they say that, and I'm, we're trying to keep the shotgun mic as high as we can without making it too um, oppressive. Yes. Uh, so what they'll say is that you will hear communication, but not all the time. But that's only because these guys know already, because they play together a lot, you know, who's taking what. I mean, in other words, if you hit a short lob, you'll, you won't hear, oh, short. They don't necessarily say that. They both already react to it. They already recognize immediately, like right there. Yep. I mean, he's not going to say short. It's obvious it was short. Right. Already ready to, you know, bail each other out as needed. Exactly. The harder your partner's working, the farther you come over to help so that they don't have to keep digging shots out. 
Yes. That's another marathon point. It's just a concentration and a, and a battle of wills after a while. Yep. It's like. Yeah, these guys are all going to grind. Set. Okay. Amazing. I was actually surprised with that decision from Mackey. I thought that He's was going to be a two hander. Yep. Yeah. Well, I think you, you even mentioned it one time in, in, a, in a match you were actually using as an example. Where you, I, I remember you saying that there was a point in time in a match where we realized we're just not going to drive any other ball. In other words, you just was like, look, we're, we're not going to drive another ball until we can get back into this match or until we get our mojo back or until we right. get our rhythm back. Right. And I think that's kind of, I mean, that was a drive technically. Okay, there we go. Yep. But, I mean, I, and, and I do understand that. As a matter of fact, that makes perfect sense. Well, that's this kind of sneaky part about paddle and why, you know, this can... This can, you know, kind of transition so quickly is that, like, if you feel like you're a little off rhythm and you're not finding the right ball, you can just choose to lob exclusively for a couple of points, and yes. you are going to get enough reps in to kind of find a rhythm. Your groove. Yeah. Yes. Now, with that said, there's a bit of a hazard oh. when you go into full lob mode. That was just wide, wasn't it? As I'm, I, I want to say 70 something 15, shots. 40. Incredible. There's a bit of a hazard when you go into full lob mode where then when it's time to pull the trigger on the drive, yes. you maybe feel a little hesitancy. <laughs> you know, you maybe feel... That's a really good point, Coach. a little yeah. moment where you yeah. do perhaps second guess it because oh, yeah. you, you know, you haven't been hitting it. But no. But you can almost, uh, and I'm, I don't know this for a fact, but you can almost feel that Watching and, and Mackey, I, I keep calling him Mackey, it would be... But uh, but uh, have made that decision. I mean, it's not like they haven't driven a ball. It's just that you can just tell this is almost prevent D right here. Right. Because we're kind of like, well, we can get back into this. We're already and got at the this point. There's not really a reason to deviate because they've been very successful by extending points. Like what that's what been a dig. great flick. Yep. They've they've been uh, finding their groove much more by being more selective with the drive instead of going after stuff. It is good. So we are at 3 2, back embroiled in a battle. I was going to say, if they don't go to water now, they're just not human. Just, I mean, they're just a bunch of androids out there. How human. the heck do you I not go to water? A, Jeez. I think there's a tiny alien inside each and every one of them operating them with controls, Sean. As Steve Martin used to say, they've been stealing my luggage. <laughs> Yes, at, at historic, prehistoric, prehistoric, prehistoric Westmoreland. Westmoreland, in my case, Cal. See, I'm embracing it, Cal. You're running from the uh, criticism. I, I embrace it. In the words of, uh, of Wilfred Noyce, a machine is like a desert. It either fascinates you or appalls you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been appallingly fascinating for years. That's excellent. Next, we should go into some of the teachings of Immanuel Kant. <laughs> Just be careful how you talk. <laughs> we pronounce that. Because we, we've, we, we have sponsors that we really like to, you know. You know, in the world of philosophy, well. I wouldn't be surprised if he had one of those names that people perhaps mispronounced <laughs> on purpose. I'm just saying, Especially if you're if he walking was winning through the debate. a forest and yes. a tree falls on a philosophy professor, does anyone care? I think is one of the most pertinent questions. Especially if he's winning the debate, you're going to start time. doing. You're going to start just hitting blow the belt and making fun of his. Great drive location there, out of that corner from Mackey to try to try to make it so that it was a little indecision on the volley. Yeah, and it was. Good 
return there from T Money. that Stu is starting to move a little more and maybe look for some of those shots. I mean, especially with how dominant Tom's backhand drive is like that. I think yes. it's, you know, I think it's the right call for him to be more aggressive on that shot. And now they've taken the net and clearly it's paid off because I'm an incredible sportscaster. <laughs> That's not the only reason, by the way. And, th and that is completely true. Uh, luck is another, well, another solid reason. <laughs> it's not luck. It's it's the it's the crisp audio of the PD70 from Persona. That is also true. Man, these mics are clean. <laughs> well, Sean always disinfects before the. Uh, I do. The show. Well, these are new. I mean, literally brand new. So yes. I, I haven't done that yet. So yes. Get and in the world of COVID, yes, you've got to always be keeping track of how often you change your pop filters before recording a yes. podcast or doing a live stream. Which at this point in the world happens more often than one might think. Absolutely. Cal, he said pop with a P filter, by the way. <laughs> okay, just making sure. Because I know what it sounded like. Then. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Good response. <laughs> And by the way, uh, I'm going to mention it again, but the w w swinging the ball at this level isn't as much of, uh, of I'm just, you know what I'm trying to do? I'm, heading, I'm trying to head a lot of the commentary we get at practices off at the pass, just Coach. Just mix that in there? Yes. Because we'll get that. Well, what I saw was. That would have been a sneaky the poke there by Greg. At Series 2, oh, Series 1, chop. Series 3, Series 4, you're going to see a certain amount of swinging the ball to, from side to side. That's just going to happen. But it's not just that. They're always in position. That's the key. That's why it's not as though you can't swing the ball. Right. It's just uh, can you stay in position when right. you do. Yeah, absolutely. Now, do you think it's a good idea for these guys to be swinging the ball around so much? <laughs> Only if they have home court advantage, could you? Right. That's you a know, big, if, you're, a if big you know factor. how the lights work and you're, yes. you're into it, yeah, exactly. like that is absolutely... Yes. One of the ways to go, I think, when it comes to that stuff. I always thought, like, home court adventure, you should literally have certain things to go on at the club when somebody hits, like, a Nick shot that nobody touches, that a siren goes off, and you got to keep <laughs> playing during the siren. <laughs> A lucky winner. What we a dig. Do, uh, what a dig. We do an event at the club, the turkey shoot, where we put posters in the middle of the screens, and you can automatically <laughs> win the point if you hit the yes. turkey. See, now that's my kind of paddle. That's wow. a tough play. And it I was. use really aggressive turkey posters, too, like turkeys with shotguns or <laughs> turkeys dressed like Rambo or turkeys that, you know, are clearly fans of NASCAR. And then I roll all of those uh, that's in a great drive. as part of the event. That was just a that was a sicko drive. There is a definitely one point that I'm missing here, and I'm not sure who won it. I was um, right now. It is uh, 30. Wait, 30, 40, maybe. I think T Money and and uh, Stu would be up in this game if I had to guess. Probably, but it looks like 30. Well, so here comes the guess. There we go. Well, the, the, I know they just lost. Oh my. I, I know Mac and Watrick just lost that last point, so it's got to be Deuce now. Okay, so I guess we're at Deuce. I knew it. I told you it was Deuce, you guys. <laughs> Don't check the tape. <laughs> that was a cool flip. Do a flip. Nice. Dig City. Yeah. That's good corner coverage as a team there. Absolutely. See Stu spring into action. Just notice the trailer, the trailing player is always covering the middle, especially on the backside screens. Could Ooh, turn into a nick. Oh, that is a tough look trying to make that shot. Maybe forced it a little bit, but definitely saw the opportunity. All right. That's a wow. great return as well. Incredible return. 
was dipping like Doritos, man. That thing just dropped off the table. Do you actually use dip on Doritos? I do. That's I'm, crazy, I'm, dog. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, that's, You're I'm, a madman. You know, <laughs> I've been called worse. Nacho cheese Doritos? You know, yeah, everything. Yeah. Ta especially the taco, the taco flavor. Oh, okay. Little, little, All right, little, I can see it. Little, uh, yeah. I mean, if you were going thing. Doritos and then you were you were dipping it in taco dip, I guess that would make sense. Well, that would just, be. And, and again, I'm old school, let's face it, with a K. Uh, S K O O L, no, which rhymes with drool. I do that occasionally as well. Not but, spelled uh, the same. Taco, exactly. Taco. There is a taco flavored uh, Doritos, and uh, it's been around for a while. That's right. That's true. And there it's phenomenal. But you're right. That, like the you know the crazy. I can't believe we're talking Doritos, but the crazy uh, nacho cheese. Uh, you probably don't need to uh, dip on those. Although I will. Yeah, well, just uh, don't tempt me. You do you, man. I mean, I'm not. We all look I, I, I get it. I mean, it's a, that was a nice it's a flavor explosion. You that one out. Yeah, no, you're right. Are <laughs> they as good as the? That is a oh, great drive what from T Money shot. there to take the game. That's just impressive. Four serving two. So this, if there would be a turning point in the match. That shot might have been it. Another returning point in the set, or that's what just won. Yeah, it sometimes it. there's just uh, so there's that one point or that one shot that like you know. Yes. Solidifies point, you can point mo to. momentum control. Yep. Kind of. You got to be kidding! What a shot. Yeah, he's gonna play. He's gonna dig that out. It's in there. And he's gonna come up with a back foot lob. Some high like quality does. paddle here. Get. And now they're gonna get in formation and they're gonna slow it down a little bit so that they can. Regain their groove. <laughs> it's I call it the quiet storm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's slow it down and, and get our groove back. Let's go to the quiet storm. <laughs> I like it. I would pay extra for that. V one, V one o three, the quiet <laughs> storm. The quiet storm. Yeah, it's funny. You know, we're I, listening I, to I, musical star streams <laughs> on. 95.5. It's a great impression. That's a, I remember Great that. move. Yeah, and great communication in the switch. For Stu to immediately take over the overheads again. Yeah. No, instructively, there, there have been times where I'm on the court with a student, and I'm talking about a paddle court, by the way, yes. And they'll uh, miss their serve. And, of course, I'm a, I'm a stickler for, hey, you got to get into rhythm. In the first place, sometimes they just rush things, and I'll just tell them, "Oh, how did that, that not come up for air?" Incredible! Just, wow, I, was, I think it was off the bottom, bottom of the screen that right there near the snowboards, and that thing just died. Yeah. All right, 15 uh, love here for oh, Team there. and Stu. Going for a little dunk there. Touch. Still a little warm to be able to get those like off-speed drop shots to really yes. die off the paddle. I don't think it's we've a seen great point, point coach. We've seen one drop shot oh, like that. Like, no, that's a great. That's a great cut. You're right. Actual winner. You're so right about that. Anyway, what I've told uh, certain students is slow it down and and I mean because I'm an old timer. I mean then again, Moon River. Oh. Mm. Okay, that's that's little, that you gotta have some fun, drive, I guess. What yeah. am I gonna say about that? You know what I mean? Making the ride. That, that, that's not something you'd suggest to do, but you know what? He's a great athlete, you know. And so, I, because you're an old timer, you've told people to. Well, I've told people to use like the song Moon River to mm. hum while they're serving, because what happens is you, you have a tendency to slow everything down, and um, things start to be a little more solid. You hit, hit, the, hit the ball in the middle of the paddle. Your toss seems to be in the right spot after a while. That's there are times pretty where excellent. There are times when just people rush a bit, that's all. Right. That's a great shot. Nice Unbelievable. Way to hold his ground there and just read that. I usually use the song uh, Baby Got Back in order to regain control of the momentum of my points. <laughs> Mostly just because, you know, if I hum the intro, I cannot lie. And that's a copyright strike. Yeah, no, not with me humming it. It's not. 
youngster, rookie. You didn't understand that. That's all right. You're all is forgiven, Kevin. It was less than seven seconds. We'll be fine. Great lobbed right now from Greg and Mackey. To it's phenomenal beatboxing. <laughs> I, I, I thought so. I may not be an endorsement. What a get. You know, Sit down. Speaking of old timers, that's my favorite burger at Chili's is the old timer. Oh. It's a good move there by Greg. Okay, we're gonna do deal. We're gonna do uh, DoorDash or something right now. And <laughs> see, I, 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 you can't. We gotta, you know. I'm sorry. Just everybody open Uber <sighs> Eats. I know. So that we can figure out. Reset. What Coach Sean is having for dinner? These guys. Are <laughs> In a future promotion, we'll all be voting, and he has to eat whatever <laughs> the community <laughs> decides. <laughs> The sad thing is, that's pretty much what I do. Did that stay in? No, it did not. No, a little deep. Not enough top on it, maybe. 40 15. Wow. What a turnaround. But you know what? The, 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 uh, the viewing audience wants to see more paddle. Clearly. It's a great play so there. They might be rooting. To make that happen. He might be rooting for uh, T Money and Bradley. Sounds like a new sitcom. Get in there. The no look dig. Very Patrick Mahomes right there. Yep. That's yeah, good play. Oh. Unbelievable. 5 2. Now, this is right here where you are a little bit torn based on where you are here in the Westmoreland hut. So <laughs> if you are a teammate yep. of, uh, you know, one of these two teams, part of you is like, yes, good fight, guys, grind it out. But the other part of you is like, this guarantees that we're not going to step on court until 10 p.m., that is which a great is not point. ideal yes. sometimes on a Thursday night match night. Very good. Yeah, um, no, that's true. I shouldn't say that because this, you know, we're a little bit farther in this set. But I'm just saying that, the, you know, and it, a and very it low team over. that has been waiting for the last 30 minutes is probably not like, come on. Yes. Come on, Greg and Mackie. You can grind it. They're probably like, quick set. <laughs> Let's go. And I'm speaking 100% from experience there. Oh, I... Where sometimes it's not personal. It's just like, oh, I can't keep my eyes open much longer. <laughs> hey, here's a quick legitimate tip for uh, some paddle players out there who are playing matches at night. After a oh, long day be... at work or on the golf course, whatever, it depends on who you are. But if you uh, force yourself to close your eyes for 15 or 20 minutes, not take a nap, I'm not saying take a nap. I'm just saying legitimately rest your eyes for about 15 minutes before you go on the court. You would be uh, shocked at what a difference it makes in terms of, you know, tracking the ball and being able to see. What a shot. Nice, uh, That's fascinating, nice Coach. There. I mean, uh, it, yeah, I, I, I actually have heard that before. I've never done it because, to be honest with you, I, uh, my matches don't last long enough, I don't think. No, yeah, I definitely have uh, struggled in the past with some of that kind of stuff. Just in terms of being able to. So, but you put this stuff into practice. So, in other words, you've done that. You, you, you yeah, 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 and I, it works for you. I started doing it, especially you know, on the average uh, Thursday. It is not uncommon to be on court at 7 a.m. and then yeah. you know, be in the hut during matches, you know, during league matches all day, and then all of a sudden have to have We're to fresh. jump out there and play. Yeah. Yeah. Can be tough. Wow. And I don't know about you, but when I get fatigued, the first thing to go is my vision. I feel like I feel like my eyes won't clear, and I think that would make me pretty much legally blind, Coach, because <laughs> I'm fatigued all the time. Who says I'm not? <laughs> then once you have kids, you'll never see again. That is a great return it and was. a really good uh, kind of hold there. Really good uh, set. Way to turn it around. And, and it looks on, like we've got, we've got split space, which means that uh, we get to go back to uh, Illinois Bone and Joint for another quick promo because that's what we do between sets here, and they deserve it. They do. 
from the heart of Chicago up to the North Shore and stretching from the Northwest suburbs down to Kankakee. From urgent in-office care to virtual in-home visits, we're making orthopedic care available wherever and however you need it. Because while we're adapting our lives to keep each other safe, we know that new injuries will happen and old injuries will still linger. And IBJI is here to help. Illinois Bone and Joint Institute is the best choice for orthopedic care. Our walk-in ortho access clinics provide treatment by orthopedic specialists without a trip to the ER. With evening and weekend hours, we provide your family with excellent care when it matters most. Visit IBJI.com to find an ortho access immediate care clinic near you. And we're back. And not a moment too soon. Wow, I settle down, everybody. It's an empty court. I'm just joking. There's nobody out there. You know, if we get really organized enough, because we're already organized. I didn't want to uh, imply that we weren't organized, by the way. Can I start I'm okay over? Implying it. Can we're I start just over? admitting it out loud. Yeah, okay. So, But if we get uh, even more organized than we are, if we can get a certain amount of uh, lead time where we know there's going to be almost like what we call a TV timeout, mm -hmm. we just uh, get out there and get a tip in there on that court real quick and then get off. <laughs> in between the second and third set. By the way, Coach, and this is just something that I know from tennis, is there a rule that says, hey, you know what, you get five minutes or you get ten minutes between the second and the third, do good you? Good question, no, and it's a good thing there isn't because I just heard Stu say, I'm going to take a quick lap around the golf course to stay loose. Um, so he'll be back in uh, 35, wow. 34 minutes. I don't know what his current time is, actually, for the for the Westmoreland lap, but uh, it's not short. It's not a small property. Wow. You got to respect that kind of speed. Thank oh, you, okay. sir. Okay, never mind. He's back already. He's the he's the flash apparently. Wow. Thank you, Cal. If it turns out that this is gin, I'm going to be real real <laughs> impressed with Cal. That's. I mean, it looks like water, but honestly, it's too soon to tell. We're gambling with cards now? What the? Hell? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you say you close your eyes for 15 minutes. <laughs> it's going to be eight hours and 15 minutes if this is gin <laughs> for me because I, I can't hold my liquor. Well, that's fine. I often like to take a quick nap at night for about eight and a half hours. <laughs> and then, uh, you know. Then later in that same day, wake up refreshed. Or it's a different day, depending on how people look at it. I like to bring non sequiturs into the uh, arena here. Uh, so the word refresh, I can't get because there's a, uh, a bottled water with th that term as the uh, title for the bottled water. And it's got an E at the end. So it's always not just refresh, but refresh it. <laughs> refresh it. Refresh. So I, uh, every time I ever hear that, that word, I actually have to put the E on the end of it. Ah. That, I don't know what it is. And I now don't even drink I gin. <laughs> okay, we got a new ball uh, from the hut, so we got to warm it up because the hut temperature is only uh, 67 degrees right now. And Pull outside, me. it's in the 50s. Pull and. Uh, this is my favorite part of any paddle match. All right. Here we go. Stu to serve, firing it up. Oh, never mind. I Taking a practice a custom, serve with a new ball. One practice serve with a new ball. New ball serve. Good hands. Uh-oh. Looks like we had a little camera issue. Well, we wanted a new angle. I don't know if we wanted that angle. Look at Cal. Like the flash getting out Would there. Would you look at him? Just look at him. <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh, 
reset machines. He's so unobtrusive out there, too. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think you could be six foot seven and be unobtrusive. No, yeah, it's actually. Did you? Do we want to check too? Yeah, we'll We're, give it a little. So, give it a look here. Close. All right. Yes, there are a few. I, I just want to say this again to the uh, some of the league players at home. Yes, you're seeing a few high back in volleys as well. Yes, we've said don't necessarily make a practice of doing that as well. But nice pick it there. It was. Good scramble as well by Greg. It's not that you can't get Tough away with it. Ball. You just Tough can't do ball. it on a regular basis. That's all we're saying. That's all I'm saying anyway. Good recovery. Nice oh, touch. That That's is a, a great really move. good read. What set that up was that nice, deep, Nick bound oh, Sorry, while overhead. we were trying to fix the camera, I lost track of the score here. I'm going right. to have to take a guess and see what happens. Try to take that on the rise, which, by the way, is a, is a shot that I'm seeing more and more of. Who won that point? So, sorry. Uh, I was uh, Bradley and... And I, can I call him T-Money? Well, yeah, you to? can call him T-Money. Okay. He loves it. I just want to I want to feel like I'm... It's pretty good. Part of the action and cool, which neither pretty of which good. I am. Oh, what a shot. Yep, well played. It was covered, too. You know what I'm going to say? Shouldn't have been hit a four-end volley anyway. Boy, you hit a four-hand volley. And we got that second camera back. Thank you, Cal. Closer. If there was an award for that, you'd get him. Great. Well, that's a nice pace on that one. Ball. Yep. All right, Dipping. looks like I was wrong about the score, but I gave it a shot. It's not how you start, it's how you finish, Coach. That's really what it's all about. That's right. We now know it's deuce, kind of. <laughs> well, we knew it got to deuce eventually. Yes. That's when you know it's a tight right. match. You could pretty much say it's deuce, because that's probably where it's going to be. What a dig. He hasn't let one backside screen go. He has, but not on a regular basis. Steadiness. Cerulean blue. Cerulean blue like a gentle breeze. <laughs> Do you think cerulean blue could be the color of the court on the the, the paint mm -hmm. of the court? Uh, yeah, kind of. Do you think it's yeah. too? You think it's too dark? I'm kind of hypnotized by the courts now. <laughs> but yeah, I, yeah. Either that or it's it's uh, it's Mackey's hat is cerulean blue. Mm, yeah. Could be. No, maybe not. Maybe I don't know. I thought I thought it was kind of a light blue if I remember the episode that we're referring to, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the X Files. The X Files, yeah. That Meanwhile, was the guy who could take his hypnosis to the next level yes, and just like amazing. suggesting something allowed it to happen. Pretty like, much yeah, he controlled their mind. Could, yeah. could happen, yeah. I saw him. Okay, this is. Well, we're just really. We're going to discuss a whole bunch of well, things. Well, this is a long point. We got it time. is. I guess we do. So I was watching, and I don't. I'm f not forced to watch the Hallmark Channel. I, I shouldn't say it that way, but my my wife just loves the Hallmark Channel. Anyway, so I, 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 I look over, and it's 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 that guy, 
oh, really? from the X Files. I don't even I don't know his name, but from he's that episode? and he's playing kind of a normal dad, and I'm kind of like, no, 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 no don't trust him because <laughs> he's got he's just got a very eat well. Uh, don't kind of, trust him. Yeah, exactly. Kind of a very sardonic, yeah, almost evil-looking smile. Yeah, it's a tough one. Yeah, it's just he it just is. I'm going, my God, this is oh. going to make you step out into an empty elevator shaft. Exactly. <laughs> Look out. What do you think, Cal? Make a move, Cal. It's good. Good fix. Thank you. Awesome. Unbelievable oh, great point. Point right there. <laughs> they call the marathon point. I think people. Some people have actually run 26 miles during the festivities there. Erroneous. No way. Who's good ever hands, done that? Good hands. Look at that. I don't believe it. Great lob. Good recovery ball. I think I think I've been a deleterious influence on young Kyle. I'm just gonna say it. What? what a dig. Get over. Smart. We are Block. seeing some legendary. Look at this. Yeah, here's a good that transition was off a opportunity. Scene as well. yeah. You just gotta oh Ooh, just a little wide. You hate to see that happen. That's you don't want to see the point lost like that. What an unbelievable point. <laughs> on the precipice. Back to yes. Deuce in the first game of the third set. And we have a battle. Yes. I try not to use the word barn burner anymore because I, I don't know the it suggests arson. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be too concerned about that. That's yeah. one of the that's one of the foundations of Chicago. Yes. And the reason for its, its success. Yes, we burn it down every 400 years. Ago. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that that's the reason that uh, Chicago has alleyways and stuff like that and New York doesn't? That, you, you know what? That's exactly right, Coach. You're, that's a great point. So the Chicago fire happened, and then all the buildings burned, and it spread no. quickly from building to building because we used to have the same setup as New York where everything was all packed together. Sure. And then as a precaution moving forward, they put alley space in between them so that since the city had already burned, they were like, well, what have we got to lose? Yeah. So they spread out and used a little civil engineering, which actually helps a ton because we have space for dumpsters and oh, yeah. parking and all kinds Garages. of stuff. We don't have to put sure. our trash out on the street like some other cities. Unless you consider me, you know, walking the streets of Chicago and then we keep our trash in the street. <laughs> At least it's not in the house. You know, you take it out, it's outside. Just get it outside. Yeah. What do you think? I had got in a discussion recently with my wife where I said that I felt that the garbage cans needed to be kept in the garage until garbage day. And then she was like, well, I don't want the garage to start smelling like garbage. And then I was like, <laughs> okay, but I don't want the animals to get the garbage and, te you know, sh tear it all up over, I, I, all over our yard. You know, I'm kind of, okay. And um, then, I, and this then, is a tough one. And then she was like, well, we'll get flies in there if, you know, we, and I was like, no, we won't, but our kids have to close the garage door. Yes. And then that's how the fight started. Just I would love what everybody else. a location. What a location. Great Ollie and a good pick. We've got another opportunity another here just going the other way. Points. First game, third set, battle royale. We better figure out what the uh, local ordinances are here for Westmoreland Country Club <laughs> if they're allowed to leave the lights on until 4 a.m. Past 2.30. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. It's a great roller. You know, and then, by the way, there's a concept that really wouldn't work, like a, a, a paddle marathon for charity. What, I mean, what's the point? You, you know, know what I'm saying? The You're USO actually does a paddle marathon in Chicago every year, and it is always well really? attended. Yep, and there is a Westmoreland member, actually, that runs it, and I, I apologize because I'm blanking on his name at the moment. That's a really solid hold there for the first game. Unbelievable. These guys. Um, and Mackie in full meditation mode against the screen. 
He's stretching so, out his hand. So they just do FYI. like a full 24-hour thing where people book courts and donate to charity, and the goal is to have somebody on the courts at all times for a for a 24-hour period. Wow! And they do a great job, and they fill it up a lot. And sometimes they have to use other facilities, but uh, that's cool. But it's cool. It's a cool idea. Yeah. Creativity abounding. It is kind of fascinating because they call it the para- paddle marathon, and I'm like, that's just called playing paddle. It like, is. Uh, it's just redundant. Welcome to the paddle marathon. Exactly. I know we're doing that already. Thank you for bringing <laughs> it up. Don't remind me. Yeah, I think uh, Mr. Mackey's having a, 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 a little cramping issue or maybe a, some type of stretching issue in, the hand, in his hand. Oh, that's too bad. I think he's all right. But I'm just saying, I think he was, he was stretching out his hand before. I don't know whether that's going to be a factor. Smart. See how Greg missed that first one, the warm-up serve, and then he took a second one and then hit a monster. <laughs> you got to do that, you guys. You can't miss a warm-up serve and then be like, no, I'm good. Like, the whole point of that serve is to... Get a rhythm. Get your groove. Get your groove. Earth, wind, and fire. Yeah. Let's groove tonight. I'm not going to sing it, no. I will not sing it, no. It's okay. Okay. That might get us a copyright strike. (laughs) Because you can actually sing, and it would be identifiable by the algorithm. If I sing it, nothing bad would happen at all. (laughs) Other than the internet freaking yeah. out and going, yeah, never do that again, please. Yeah. Mixing up some formations here. That's what you always like to see. And this see is kind of the eye. Here. Well, that was kind of the eye only because the net player is crouching tiger. Crouching tiger, hidden paddle. Yes. And that thing Uh-oh. kicked like a mule right that was there. A great serve. Full league night in Chicago. Huts getting loud. You bet. People are in it. There's just a lot of money on this one, I think, Coach. Somebody sent an email today that was like, you are now one-third of the way through the paddle season. And I was like, what are you talking about? We just got started. Yeah. And then I did the math and realized is it that really? they were correct. Yep. Well, One I mean, third. before playoffs. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we got 18 weeks of the season, and then we got playoffs. So I mean, we always like to we all like to think positively. 22 matches we, uh, if you go all the way. I think. Yeah. We're all going to think positively, thinking we're all going to go to the playoffs. So. But holy cow! Pre-Thanksgiving. Yeah, you're right. We wow. fit that much in. About to go uh, back to daylights. I mean, away from daylight savings. On Sunday, so it's a sign of the times. Yes, that's right. We do the charities weekend is always a time change, which I'm sure always causes a problem for a couple of teams. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh the slice drive, Greg. Didn't see that one coming. Way to get out of the way. What a dig. Nice pick. Unbelievable. That is also a good pick. Well played. Oh, that, that was, was a, a super off dink. Speed, wow. Off speed drive. That thing just dropped off the table, as we like to say. Amazing slice. This is always one of my favorite parts of the match when Mackey starts to lose it. Not really. I'm just kidding. He is actually one of those guys that kind of vocalizes frustration and then goes, gets right back into it. It's not yeah, like he, it, and there are people that are good at that. I, I was just kidding. No, there, there are people that I think that are good at that. They're just great at being able to... Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Great lob location. 
I'm great at uh, completely losing my mind and then have it remain gone for <laughs> however much more time I play the match. <laughs> Ticking time bomb of fury, McClure is what they call me. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, yeah. At least they call going. you. I haven't started in two years. Some heavy balls now. And that was uh was that game for Wotring Mac? No, sorry. No. Little deep. Now, now it's it game for Wotring Mac. That's right. They lead the third set here at Westmoreland. Two Two games to one. To one. Still a ball game. Seen some swings of momentum. Two one Valley Low with a lead. Yeah, Team Money and Bradley are wondering where the uh, home court advantage went, Coach. Well, they still got it. I mean, yeah. they did split sets. Yes. These are both good teams. Uh -huh. And when he comes off the court, Tom's going to be like, you kept that Team Money thing going for the whole match, huh? <laughs> Thanks for that, I guess. That's not why they call it paddle, by the way. <laughs> we were really not seeing that on camera, but... Uh, He's just warming up. Yeah. I don't I know like what to, for. I like to hit the uh, uh, upper side of my back part of my leg with my paddle See, now as well. let's see what happens with Mackey's serve here because, okay, so he missed the warm-up but then made yes. the, uh, the real-life ball. That's a good drive there. Really good drive. Well, he's got surprising power. Yep. Like, just doesn't look yep. like he's going to generate efficient. that kind of, yep. yeah. Greg can, Greg can really come through the ball. You know, he can keep it loose as he makes his contact, and the ball just kind of can pop. Wow, Mackey already way out there in the court, ready to defend. Yeah, all four of these guys are machines. Unbelievable. I mean, I, I don't even know what the average shot count is uh, per point, but it's got to be up there. Well, the beer's flowing. We know that. Oh, is there beer? <laughs> Great reset. Do they do that here at paddle matches <laughs> in Chicago? So we, you were on the court last week. It's good poke. And uh, Spencer had to somehow get the tap working. And she had to leave the mic for about, you know, 15 minutes to get the tap working. Because that's a priority and a half. In the world of paddle. Oh, yes. Yeah, they must have tapped one of them, and then we're trying to get the second one on. Yeah. She came out and asked me, and I was like, you got to make sure that the nitrous is on, too. I just like to sniff it. Get over. Nice. Even the lob volleys are stylish. That's a pretty. Look at this. Yep. It's a good read to step up on that ball. of a drive but it looked it's like a he weird uh, yeah, he stepped weird there let's hope he's okay maybe slipped a little bit at contact but he appears to be all right yeah. to quote Bob Marley <clears throat> everything is gonna be fine <laughs> vintage Cal right there Oh, 
Oh, yeah, look at this dig. Unbelievable. I'm just going out on a limb. You don't see that at Series 9. I'm just going to say it because I, I play. Anyway. Thought maybe they were going to switch, but they chose not to. How do you say that? Oh, Nice close. try. Close, but no. Tipperillo there. What a great rally again. Boy, Cal did a good job on that second camera there. Thanks I'm for just the recovery, say it. Cal. I'm just going to say it. Much you as know, it pains me to do so. And say it. <laughs> All right, so 40 30. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I like Orange Crush more than Fanta. There, I said it. Matt, do you know who invented Fanta? I do not. It was a certain ruling party in Germany in the 40s <laughs> because they were no longer able to get Coca Cola imported. I understand where you're headed. You're saying Volkswagen invented Fanta. Got it. No Hugo Boss. What? That was the year after I retired from the uh, organization. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. Don't look it up. What a drive. That is a great move. Okay. I don't know if you can try that at home, but that was one heck of a shot. You don't see that real often running that far to your right. Team money, just serious talent pulling that off. And again, I'm calling you Team Money like I've known him for years. I, I have no idea. I've never met him. Anyway. Awesome. Good drive yep. from Mackey. Yep, that is a big ball. Jerry, he sets his backhand so well, shoulder turn wise. Unbelievable. Just nice rotation. Just for the record, Coach, what do you, are you do, what, 20 seconds between points, 25 seconds? What is the official rule on I that? think you have 20 seconds in between points. Uh, I think that's right. I thought I remembered it being a little shorter than tennis because you are uh, not, you know, you're not you traveling as far as pick far. up yeah, the ball sure. and you're not, you know, there's not as much, it's not as much there. Um, it doesn't come up very often. I mean, for the most part, like, if a server is totally gassed, so is the other team that yeah, had to play usually, the long point. Yeah, so sure. I don't really, <laughs> I, don't, I haven't heard a lot of complaints no. that are like, hey, hurry up, get ready um, in the world of paddle. And even in the tournament that, that we broadcast, I don't remember the umpire ever saying time. No. Well, maybe he just said, let's get going or something. But in other words, before the match started, but not during the match. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think it's something that comes up very often. Maybe occasionally in some kind of tournament circumstance if there's, you know. Some bad blood. <laughs> there's a little friction in the clubhouse. I don't oh, up here our first here let of, of the, the evening. Over from that doesn't happen very often. Court number two. I'm just going to say, at least not at this level, it doesn't. If somebody doesn't like a call, they throw Everybody a bottle or something. Everybody clearly wanting to play on the live stream court to the point where they're willing to just send <laughs> balls over there. Oof, great That's leave, tough. as they say. Yep. That didn't miss by much, by the way. I, well, he hit that hard, maybe three, three inches or so. That was awesome. That knockdown yeah, soft from poke, Mr. Mackey. You know, forces you to, to drop. Prehistoric. Forces you to get low while you're trying to close in and regain your balance. And then you feel like you have to be careful with the volley. Yeah. Low. The real key being that the ball was so low. 30 low, yes. Get out. I like to get low. Forty fifteen, I think. I think you're right. Speed. Oh, that is tough. 
Good drive location there to change it up. We got 40 30. 40 30. Some nice depth on it. It's a good read. Waterfall. Turn it into a switch. Again, just really smart ball. Geez, another switch. You find yourself doing that a lot in your matches, coach, doing a lot of switching like that at the net? Yeah, yeah, I do. I think uh, I think for the most part, especially it's, it's one of the things that we've kind of talked about in the game, that the person who is a little closer to the net, that person who plays the role of the drive stopper, that has kind of evolved into a much more active role. Yeah. And you cannot be passive in that role and just let your partner, you know, play, have to deal with too much stuff. Sure. Um, but in in that you know higher level of activity, you do end up in circumstances where cartwheel convention. Nice hands. Yep. Good recovery. Right back in Good it. Push. Uh, because of that more active role, oh. uh, that's the way you're in that He point. almost, I want to say, earned that just from all of yep. the movement yep. and switching. That was just well yeah. played. Yep, so because of that more active role, the drive stopper, you do end up maybe getting, uh, leaving a little bit more court open and ending up having to switch or transition because of uh, yeah. shots that pull you out of position. I also really like it if the person who's the, the one hitting the overhead is the one calling the switch because they have a better read on their balance. Whether, whether good, they're going to be able to thought. hit yes. and then recover. Like, I mean, I can be way off the court, but if I have my balance, recovering is not that big a deal. And I also have yes. times where I am right behind my partner and all of a sudden I feel like I'm leaning and I call the switch because I don't want to have to go anywhere after the shot. So... No, I could do really another 20 point. minutes, I think, on this no, particular no. <laughs> topic. <laughs> no, no, 20, no. That's 20 to 25. No, no, no. It's, it, it, to me, Little I don't know, more, more people serve. don't think about that if you're playing. I'm just saying most league players will probably transgress onto their partner side and they just kind of sli slide all the way back and get out of position. That's a really tough yeah, angle there, volley. especially volley. inside in like that. Yep. Wow. That's another good case of the first volley being a great first volley because the server didn't have to hit it. You get your net player, playing partner involved with a serve up the tee or yeah. well-placed serve. You're My favorite get way to deal with the first volley is to not hit it at all. Have the hit one. Yeah. It's a good read there from Greg to shift way over and just look for any ball that goes into his corner. Well, they're going to switch back. Wow. Maybe a little rushed on that yeah, one. Yeah, he just didn't look like right he was in really the middle of the transition. decisively hitting that either. But uh, he's got such a nice two hander. I would have taken a swing at it. Uh oh. That was seemed a little rushed to me. That's what I mean. Like you get back into it, just made a mistake. Don't jump right back in there. I'm not, I mean, it's all. It, it's happened to everybody, and he's, like I said, better than I am. So what I know what I just said. It's easy to be an armchair to QB over here. Great lob from Stu to try to make that recovery work. I like it. Other thing I got to say about these guys, and all four of them, it's amazing how well they hit the ball with some pace from back near the service line. 
Yep. It's incredible. Because, I mean, we, we, that's another thing we don't necessarily recommend to your average league player, but they're so good gauging how, how hard to hit the ball depending on what kind of position they have. Oh, that's Speed, a really a good shot. pull wow. from Greg there on the stretch to just redirect that ball on the direction change. Smart shot as well. Keeps his team in this one that way. Oh, yeah. Wow. He pulled that one down. Not easy to do either. Okay, I'm going to say it. I noticed the, uh, I don't know if you can even see it. You can actually, from that camera angle, you can see the added screen netting up oh, yeah. above the, um, and I don't think it's for the same reason we have it here at, uh, at uh, Lakeshore. I just think it's to prevent the balls from leaving the. From leaving the court? Yep. And go, being buried in the snow instead yes, of. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't think the golf course is anywhere at no, risk of putting balls I, I on think the it's paddle course. Literally, here. yeah. Then where's the fun in that, coach? You know, I mean, if, if you, you don't have to put on your snowshoes to go get a ball every once in a while, you know, you're not living. No, yeah. I'm sorry. You're not, you're there's not no, living. Yep, there's no, nope, not at all. Not only that, if you don't have to dodge out of the way of a golf ball every so often, I mean, where, where's the thrill? What a rally, by the way. Great point. Deuce game. Doesn't usually miss that screen drive. Mr. Bradley, that is. Just missed Man. the serve. That is a bummer after the battle back. Oh. Indecision. 2022. I'm not getting political. I'm just using that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> so we are not an up at three. As I like to say, as if it can get any more exciting, it just did. I was about to say, this is where the rubber meets the road, but I think I probably shouldn't have said Because <laughs> it really doesn't make any sense. Although the ball is kind of, has a rubber, you know, it'd be, this is where the rubber meets the court. Where it, yes, where it meets the court. The grit. That is correct. Get over Oh, that was schmancy. Yep. Awesome. That's a great lob. depth on it there. Get this. Smart. Good switch and a smart lob from Mackey to not put me in a position where in there. He got it. Up, up, up. That's a problem. Yeah, too what good. A point. Really well played transition. No question. Team Money almost had a shot at that, that too, which is crazy. Stayed. 
to try to see, you know, if they were just going to be conservative with the shot, and Greg just got up there so quickly that he was able to put the ball. It's a great move. Down a little bit quicker. Yeah, like nice I said, that's that location. sneaky power we were talking about, just while well, kind of comes off the paddle quickly off both sides on that game. It's oh, yeah, nice overhead there. Oh, a little too casual. Again, that's just one of those, you know, at this point in a match when you're seeing people move and you're so uh, focused on trying to get people out of position. Yes. When you see them, you like get into a spot where they are, are in fact pulled out of position, you then end up, you know, trying to maybe force a shot when you shouldn't to put a ball in that space. And this is where the, uh, um, just the concentration mentally comes in, where it's kind of like, nor normally you start on a match, you've got a lot of energy. Mentally, you're not really drained. You're not going to make a decision like that. It, it, as I don't even want to call it a rash decision, but just an impetuous decision or impulsive decision like that. But this, at this point in the match, a little bit more. Just picking up on some of that uh, court drama, he needed a Band-Aid. I noticed that. Uh, okay. and, and that's nice. Uh, the the uh, gamesmanship of needing a Band-Aid. Oh, my God. Yeah, makes me I sick. Know. I would say I do it five times a match. <laughs> At least he didn't scream and yell out the door, which is to me what I do. I like to just scream literally all the way out the door, down the hall. Right. And right. then into the bathroom. Right. Now, and if you're continue. really uh, adamant about uh, that circumstance, what you do is you stay on the court and you just yell to the hut. <laughs> Medic! Medic! And then Cal runs out there with the... And then Cal runs out there and pounds on somebody's <laughs> chest World War II style because that's what he's absorbed from media. Or from me, for that matter. Or, or from Sean. Or all, yeah, the, all, the, all the stories I've told him. Yeah, it's fine. Either way, it's fine. Are we still at uh, Love 15? I think someone scored we a point. Can't be, we yeah. can't be at this stage. No, I, I we'll think that... 15 all. I want to say 5 all, yeah, or 15 all if you want to be more technical about it. You know, here's a little fun fact for you. I so was, I actually, uh, wasn't that last one the forehand um, dump into the net by Greg? Not that I have the, the replay in there, but I'm pretty sure that it's 30. So you're thinking uh, zero, thir I mean, uh, 30. Oh, no, you're right. It's got to be 15 all. You're right. I'm sorry. That's all right. You were, you were correct. I'm, I'm correct so infrequently, uh, I, I don't know how to react to it. <laughs> Sean Lourdes isn't here. <laughs> She's not? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. I'll take a beer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nowhere. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, she said no. Okay. Like, <laughs> Your whole personality changes. <laughs> Who was that guy? <laughs> yeah. And I am paying very close attention to this match, but that food smells good. It really does. <laughs> it's borderline distracting after having yes. not eaten since. That's such a great shot from Stu. Really? You know, Dying just, in the square forces, of despair It forces there. somebody to work hard in, yes. order to, in order to play another ball from the middle, which is not easy to do. I don't know if you noticed that. Smart play. <laughs> good shift. I don't know if you noticed there, but you saw it. Tom take a little peek to see how yes. far Stu had recovered exactly. before making a decision as to where to go. You put it so much more eloquently than I, I was going to put it, so I'm so glad I didn't say anything. This ruined the entire telecast. Too late. <laughs> Heads up. Oh, passing on that drive wow. opportunity. Oh, my gosh. Cal shooting for bonus points I'm with this I'm never going to come down. Cal, did you bake these at home? Uh, no, no, I don't. I don't have the. Oh, they're not that kind that. of cookie. Oh, well, then I don't want them. <laughs> Maybe I do want one. Speed. He got it. Oh, what a pick! Unbelievable. Oh, a little miscommunication there, but they recovered. Typical of a high-caliber team.
unbelievable. Oh! Mm. Finally catching a nick to end that point. So there's two reasons we just kind of go silent a little bit to watch a point like that because let's face it, uh, it's just, you, you just watch for a while and it gets mesmerizing. The other reason is we want to take a bite of a cookie. The so, Westmoreland Hunt has great oh. cookies. Good. Solid volley there, yeah. That's one that you that you would always joke about, like I, I'm the greatest player in the world because I hit that first follow. Like that. <laughs> That's the greatest shot I've ever hit in my life. Well, I think I use that more as good hands. Was I think I use that more as a reason to work on your first volley or do something different. Yes. I say that all the time. If you feel like your first volley is one of the greatest shots that you've ever made, <laughs> it's probably time to change your tactic. <laughs> You're right. Because it is not, it's I mean, it's a difficult shot. It's not supposed to be that difficult. Right. You might be serving too hard. Sometimes it seems to me the ball comes back too fast. You feel like you've got to hit that because you're not even inside the service line and you're hitting your first volley. You're cranking the serve. You know, the other one is recognizing where you actually need to be in order to be successful at it. Like sometimes people just are so focused on getting right on top of the net that they end up not having any balance by the time they get there. They blitz. Yeah. And then the other one is like the actual preparation for the shot. Like sure. you have to start to slow down and you have to set your hands before, almost before your own serve bounces. Because the rhythm that's of that, a great, that's a good drive. That, that's a great thought, Coach. You're right. You know, as you your really own do. serve is bouncing, you have to start to be setting up for that volley or that thing is going to be on you before yeah, you can. There is no such thing as too, too early a preparation, I would imagine. I'm setting your racket, that is. That's why I'm uh, Christmas shopping is done, Sean. <laughs> what a guy. I... Again. He nice did that the second wow. time. Oh, wow, couldn't nice recover. Guy. Smart move by Team Money to go back on him, though. Yep. I can't. He. I, that, that's the second time he's pulled that off. That is just incredible. Because I could have sworn he hit the court with his paddle, almost taking like a, a virtual divot. So this is actually a big one to take away from a match circumstance like this because both teams are doing this. They are not hitting drop shots with the uh, like the intent of winning the point. They are all hitting drop shots with the objective of pulling somebody out of position to see what they can generate exactly and in that circumstance it really paid off right where it was a good enough drop shot where greg had to really hustle it down and then the next ball that went right at him was a serious problem because it was just too much court to cover here it is again right on cue yep, that was a smart play as well Mack with a great yep, recovery, that but drop shot set not, that whole I love thing how he, he made the tougher one. Yep. And then the one that just came back, the little easier one, that's when they missed. Go figure. Yep, drop shot set up the whole sequence. Go figure. It's almost like these guys read my email. You're very well read, or well written. You write very well. <laughs> I'm very how do well I say read. that? You, you read rather. Yes. I look well, you know, I'm yes. quite proud of myself because hooked on Pahonix work it for <laughs> me. <laughs> it always scared me that because I always felt like there was a there's like the drug inference, you know, like you're actually addicted. You know? Oh, speed! Sit down. Oh man. That was a great move. Yeah, hooked on phonics did not gel well with the dare uh, program <laughs> that went through school. Hey man, I need to fix it. Either. I need some punctuation. I need it right now. Whoa! Nice a little frustration drive from Mackey, but still a good ball. The touch, the feel, the fabric of your life, cotton right there. Yeah. Sit down. This is an interesting one, too, because the score is 4-3, 15-love, and it absolutely feels 
like <laughs> Westmoreland has all the momentum. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like it it's couldn't so be close. Yes. Right? I mean, they are separated by, you know, long games, and, and that's they're two points apart, and it just kind of feels like Westmo has yeah, taken the, over the, a little the bit. Energy on one not side that they of the can't net. find their way back into it, but no. these are starting to be fast points yep. that are going the wrong direction. Is there some name for an advantage about playing at your home club? <laughs> Sorry, Cal, I missed that one. <laughs> it was funny. I'll have to go back to the video later. The yeah. uh, home court advantage, yes. That's what we call a home court advantage. Oh, oh that's my God. A, another great drop shot. It was a little touche action, too, there, Coach. As Mr. Watrink has been having to tr track some of those down, he just gave a little taste of their own medicine. Oh, hey, you gotta be kidding. That is tough. When you are rolling, you're rolling. Finding the Knicks now. Team Money with the laser beam. And they are a step away from the Vic Let's right see here. See if they can close it out. You know, the way this match has been going, it would not surprise me if, if, it's, if it goes to 5-4 here. Anything could happen. Seriously. I hate to interrupt you here, but Sean, do you also smell tacos? Uh, you know what? I'm smelling a whole bunch of stuff. Tacos is just one of them. Mm. Yeah. And as you can tell, I'm not particular about my food. It's a good opportunity there from Greg. Ball just got behind him a little bit, but... Clue, yeah. I mean, that was close. It did look long a little bit. This is a tough, I'll be honest, that I feel like this is a difficult camera angle for that particular serve. Yes. Right, that one that's a little bit long, like with our top-down view, can be a little tough to see where, the, you know, when the ball actually changes direction and starts to rise. Well, not that this has been a, uh, <clears throat> this would be a... Uh, uh, a trait, if you will, of, of every match, but this has been really well uh, called. I mean, there, there really haven't been much. Not that you'll no. get an argument or anything. These no. guys are just so fair. I mean, it's tough. It's a small court. Yep. I mean, balls yep. are landing. They're close, you know? Yep. Yeah, they can kind of smell it over there, not just the tacos. What an unbelievable wow. flex <laughs> volley. That might have just won the match for that him right is there. A, that is a ball right there. That's crazy good. Wow. So we got the match point here. Let's see if Coach, Coach Sean is wrong for the, you know, 15 millionth time. I miss it up and mess it up. It's one of the things I love about paddle. One point, you still got to earn it. I think you just hit one big serve or whatever. Not, not here. Trey Casual. Singles match is broken out on court. <laughs> there we go. Spread the wealth around, boys. That. 
you know, with this match, it figures this would be a match point right here. Of course. And Mr. Mackey is shaking out his hand, by the way, after every shot. Because I'm telling you, he's got a little cramp issue. I've seen it. Oh, unbelievable look. He's wide. Did it dad hit somebody? No. No, he's, he's just, I think his, his hand is cramping. It went, the shot was wide. <clears throat> oh, the overhead. Okay. Right. Or the touch ball to the angle. Exactly. Some kind of cramp or strain looks yeah. like. I'm telling you, I think it's, I've had enough of them to know what it looks like. And it's not fun. There it All is. All right. There's match. Well, I got to tell you. Three, six, six, two, six, six three. three. Four, Unbelievably West entertaining. Moreland. Really well played. It was. This, was. this was one of the most evenly matched uh, pairings we've seen in a long time. Yeah. Yeah, this was a solid match all around. Good stuff from both teams. Always fun. Good group of guys. And uh, thank you, Westmoreland, for the hospitality Absolutely. for letting us crash. And thank you all. Here in the corner. All, all three of you, or whatever. All 17 uh, yeah. of really? you. Really, 17? Awesome. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just okay, you're making it up. There. All right, well, that's okay. It made me feel good, So though. this is our last uh, kind of uh, what, what we started with as a pilot program for the start of uh, the CPTC live stream league nights. And the goal moving forward is for us to be able to do a little uh, promotion video on the YouTube channel and Absolutely. do a little Absolutely. highlight and then, uh, and then live stream the matches. Uh, so looking to do one a week. Uh, as often as possible unless something comes up, you know, kind of weather-wise, obviously not everything works the same way every time or if there's a scheduling kerfuffle. But uh, we're looking forward to, I just like the pepper. I love the that word. Kerfuffle. Yes. Um, but, but please we're tune in. to uh, having you guys uh, in the future moving yes, forward for absolutely. our league night on the CPTC live stream network. Always a pleasure. Have, have a good a, one. Have a great evening.